search results killing you? Unflattering content in blogs, news articles, online reviews, social media, or other sources can jeopardize your reputation, your business, and your livelihood. Let Reputation.com help. Our patented technology will make the truth about you more visible while pushing down unwanted negative content. Improve your Google search results. Call Reputation.com at 1-800-831-0771 for a free consultation. That's 800-831-0771. So I say to Mark at lunch, look, you know, I keep hearing from the government that, you know, they're worried someday ISIS may get here. And I go, duh, uh, Garland, Texas, Muhammad cartoon shooting. ISIS is already here. I'm not waiting for these people to defend me. If they don't know ISIS is here already, they got no clue. I'm taking care of myself. Guns80.com, AR-15 kits, 30-shot magazines, great prices. They've even got the Hillary special. Guns80.com, that's 844-2-GUNS-80, guns80.com. Talk Live. This is Free Talk Live. You're invited to join us here on the radio waves. You can bring up anything you want to discuss with you in the studio tonight. You've got Ian and Mark. And on the way here tonight, the Satanic Temple is back at it now with a new proposal, this time to put their Baphomet statue, which they actually did finally make. It cost quite a bit of money, apparently. It's a very uh, fancy statue. They're going to be putting that if they uh, if they pull this off at the state of Arkansas, where apparently they uh, the Arkansas state is planning a Ten Commandments monument for the Capitol grounds in Little Rock. Well, now the Satanic Temple wants their equal time. They want the ability to put their uh, Baphomet statue in the same place. So uh, we can talk about that. Of course, you can also bring up anything that you want. Also, what I learned from teaching English in North Korea. We'll jump into that here in a moment and still to come tonight. What happens when one city actually deregulates Uber and the taxi cabs? We'll find that out here as well. If you want to join us, our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE and our Skype username is lrn.fm. Here's a story from TED.com, which I actually didn't know they actually had text stories at TED.com. I'm so used to seeing the TED videos, you know, the person speaking to an audience or whatever. Uh, In this case, it's Suki uh, Suki Kim from South Korea, writing at TED.com. Born and raised in Seoul, Suki Kim posed as an English teacher at an all-male university in Pyongyang, run by evangelical Christians. She spent six months teaching the 19-year-old sons of North Korea's ruling class. I'm confused by what I'm hearing here. Um... They're Christians in North Korea. Yeah, it was interesting, huh? My understanding that um, you know they're communists and therefore they wouldn't be that uh, you know that, that excited about religion. If they were Christianity, would seem like the last one. Very strange, isn't it? Yes. Um, Let's go on. And all the more so that this is a uh, you know an elite school here yeah. that she's teaching in. Uh, here's an excerpt from her investigative memoir. She describes the experience. Essay was a much dreaded word among my students. It was the fall of 2011, and I was teaching English, Pyongyang University of Science and Technology in North Korea. 270 young men and about 30 teachers, all Christian evangelicals besides me, were isolated together in a guarded compound where our classes and movements were watched around the clock. Each lesson had to be approved by a group of North Korean staff known to us as the counterparts. Hoping to slip in information about the outside world, which we were not allowed to discuss, I had devised a lesson on essay writing, and it had been approved. I told my students that this essay would be as important as the final exam in calculating their grade for the semester, and they were very stressed. They were supposed to come up with their own topic and hand in a thesis and an outline. When I asked them how it was going, they would sigh and say, Disaster! I emphasize the importance of essays since, as scientists, they would one day have to write papers to prove their theories. But in reality, nothing was ever proven in their world, since everything was at the whim of the great leader. Their writing skills were as stunted as their research skills. Writing inevitably consisted of an endless repetition of his achievements, meaning the great leader, none of which was ever verified, since they lacked the concept of backing up a claim with evidence. Mm, That's going to make them very bad scientists. Exactly, which is why when you see documentaries from North Korea, by the way, Rich Paul joining us here on the third microphone, filling in for an absent Terran. I, I hope he's all right. Yeah. I haven't seen him yet tonight. Hey, Rich. 
Hey, how you doing, Ian? We're talking about North Korea, and it's a lady and her experience as a teacher at an elite university there. So that's where we're picking up. Anyway, uh, so yeah, when you're in North Korea, or at least according to these documentaries that I've seen, uh, there was one part, and I think it was the PBS one, the, one of the more recent PBS documentaries, where they go into what is supposed to be a computer lab. And there are supposed to be people in this computer lab doing computer kinds of things, you know, whatever that might be. Yeah. Things that you would do in a computer lab. And the video footage is so ridiculous and hilarious and sad all at once because there's only one person in the class who appears to have any idea how to actually use the computer that they are sitting in front of. And this is the person that was chosen to be the interviewee. So you've got a whole room full of people sitting in front of terminals that appear to be on and, you know, there's something on the screen. <laughs> but there's only one person in there who's who has a purpose with which they are moving their mouse. The others are just basically moving their mouse around in a circle or, you know, doing something on the computer, like doing nothing it looks for all the world like they went and got some uh, poor farmers to yeah. uh, sit in, you know, dressed them up in, in clothes to look like computer people and uh, sat them in a room with computers. Right. And, You're not uh, allowed said, to talk to them. Yeah. You can't talk to them. You can only talk to this one person here who is actually able to click on the, you know, the things that they're supposed to click on on the screen. Now, what their level of... Now, why in the world they wouldn't just come up with a room full of people that can use a computer is beyond me. Because certainly some of them must be able to do that, right? I mean, we're not talking about a nation of people who can't use a computer. Well, there are people who... They get who... the internet there. No, they do not. They have some level of internet yeah, there. Not, not the, the average person. Yeah, no, the government no, has the internet internet. Yeah, yeah. I'm government agents that. have have the internet there. I'm t these are government agents. Now this right? was a purported class, some sort of computer class or something like that. Okay, well it must have been the first uh, day. Yeah, I don't know. It was anyways really weird uh, to watch that happen. It was just kind of this. This is one of the myriad of surreal things that you will see if if you just watch these documentaries. Obviously, you can't go and visit North Korea in any simple manner. So the documentaries are the the best way to kind of get a window into that world. And and it's it's a window that only really scratches the surface. I sus I suspect, you know, there there are a lot of um, there's a lot of fakery going on in North Korea that is designed to present a certain picture to the people who come there, and uh, you know the people that come there to to experience North Korea to learn about it, and it's it's just there's just so much that's fake. So anyway, the, even these scientists, you know, don't they can't even write, so let alone know how to research something. I mean, they're not doing any real science in North Korea. Mm -hmm. So what does it even mean to be a scientist in North Korea? It's just bizarre. It's such a bizarre world, which is why I'm fascinated with it. Our toll-free number, if you want to join us here, is 855-450-FREE. So again, they lack the concept in this class of backing up a claim with evidence. Remember, these are 19-year-old males. They don't even understand that idea because everything is handed down from the dear leader. A quick look at the articles in the daily paper revealed the exact same tone from start to finish, with neither progression nor pacing. There was no beginning and no end. So the basic three or five paragraph essay with a thesis, an introduction, a body paragraph with supporting details, and a conclusion was entirely foreign to them. The idea that they had the most difficulty comprehending was the introduction. I would tell them that it was like waving hello. How do you say hello in an interesting way so that the reader is hooked? I offered many different examples, but still they would show up during office hours, shaking their heads and asking, so this hook, what is it? Instead of a lesson on sources, which was not possible there, I asked them, <laughs> you can't research anything. There's no internet. I asked that they read, uh, read a simple essay from 1997 that quoted President Bill Clinton on how important it was to make all schools wired. The counterparts had approved it. The counterparts is the uh, panel of North Korean elites that is approving her curriculum because it related to our current textbook theme of college education. I hoped they would grasp the significance of the internet and how behind they were. I also gave them four recent articles from the Princeton Review, New York Times, Financial Times, and Harvard Magazine that mentioned Mark Zuckerberg, Facebook, and Twitter. None of the pieces evoked a response. Not even the sentence about Zuckerberg earning $100 billion from something he dreamed up in his college dorm seemed to interest them. It was possible they viewed the reading as lies, or perhaps the capitalist angle repelled them. 
The next day, several students stopped by during office hours. They all wanted to change their essay topics. Curiously, the new topics they proposed all had to do with the ills of American society. One said he wanted to write about corporal punishment in American and Japanese middle schools. Another handed me a revised thesis, quote, this Are you telling me this place that is full of prison camps and uh, these re-education re camps doesn't do corporal punishment in middle school? I could not tell you. Hmm. Uh, our toll-free number here is 855-450-FREE. You are welcome to share your observations on North Korea. Odds are good you haven't spent any time there, but if you have an opinion, you're welcome to share it. Our toll-free number again is 855-450-FREE. We'll share more of this lady's experience. She's got a little bit to go. 855-450-FREE. And you can also join us on Skype at Skype username LRN.FM. This is Free Talk Live. The following is an important free offer for smokers only. The makers of O2 Pure, the world's most advanced e-cigarette, have just authorized the release of free starter kits to all smokers who call in the next 10 minutes. Valued at $99, these starter kits are available for free, but only while supplies last. To guarantee your free kit, call in the next 10 minutes, 1-800-717-9859. The revolutionary O2 Pure design creates only water vapor. There is no foul-smelling smoke and no nasty tar. This allows individuals to enjoy the nicotine they love whenever and wherever they are. The financial advantages over cigarettes are considerable as well. It is estimated that the average smoker can save hundreds of dollars a month with O2 Pure. Again, free starter kits are now available to any smoker who calls in the next 10 minutes. This is a radio-only offer not available in stores, so call now for your free kit. 1-800-717-9859. 1-800-717-9859. 1-800-717-9859. That's the sound your brain makes when you realize you're buying something and forgot the coupon. Online or in a store, knowing that you're missing a deal is the worst. You need the app from Retail Me Not right now. Get thousands of coupons from 50,000 stores like Kohl's, Domino's, Best Buy, and more with crazy deals like 60% off, free shipping, and free gifts with purchase. You can get a text invite to download the Retail Me Not app 100% free right now for Apple or Android. Just text the code UPDATE to 42767. Then just show your phone at checkout to save. It literally couldn't be easier. It's 2015. Keep your coupon bonds in your phone. Stop what you're doing and text UPDATE to 42767. Listeners will get a text with a link to download it 100% free. Never forget another coupon again. Text the code UPDATE to 42767 right now. That's UPDATE to 42767. Message and data rates may apply. For terms and privacy, visit RetailMeNot.com. I am a 47-year-old female and had a heart attack in 2005. This is Alice from New Jersey. I still get angina, even with four stents. I was taking nitro two or three times a week. The very first day after taking heart and body extract, the chest pain was gone. Now I don't wear a nitro patch. Learn the secrets of an effective, natural, 100% organic nutritional supplement for a healthy heart and circulation at hbextract.com. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877 9938 Farmers keep livestock lean and healthy with a mineral-rich diet. Then, before market, they cut off minerals, leaving them to crave high-calorie grains. If weight control is this easy, why prescribe surgery for humans? Introducing Longevity. You could avoid 900 diseases by getting 90 essential nutrients from Longevity. Check out 90 for Life at tobeyoungagain.com or call 855-79-YOUNG. That's 855-79-YOUNG or tobeyoungagain.com. Longevity. It's all about saving money, getting healthy, and creating wealth. By now, you know the smart way to buy emergency food storage is calories per dollar. Ready Supply Foods sells you 50% more food for your money. GMO-free, 25-year shelf life, great tasting, and free shipping. You need 2,000 calories per day under ideal conditions. Most 30-day kits don't have enough calories to sustain you for more than a week. They just don't have enough nutrition to do the job. See the comparisons for yourself at ReadySupplyFoods.com. We are the new leader in value and quality. Go to ReadySupplyFoods.com today. 
Now more Free Talk Live. Call in toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-FREE. Hey, it's Free Talk Live. You can join us here on the radio waves at 855-450-FREE. We've also got Skype. Skype username is lrn.fm. More craziness from North Korea still to come here tonight. And what happens when one city actually deregulates Uber and the taxi cab companies? It's, It's a shocker to me which city this was. And we'll get into that here in a little bit. You can also join us online. Don't forget to go to freetalklive.com to get interactive there. Now, we have our Bitcoin page on freetalklive.com. You go to bitcoin.freetalklive.com. That'll allow you to throw something in the Free Talk Live Bitcoin tip jar. And we sure do appreciate it when you do that. Thank you very much. But if you don't yet have any Bitcoin, then go to expresscoin.com for Bitcoin, Litecoin, and even Dogecoin. It's fast, safe, easy, and inexpensive. And they are a licensed money services business. You can get your cryptocurrency with money order or check. Whether you're in the U.S. or Canada, they can probably help you at ExpressCoin.com. That again, ExpressCoin.com. And use coupon code FTL when you're there, and you'll get up to $40 worth of cryptocurrency with no transfer fee at all. So go to ExpressCoin.com and use coupon code FTL to get your first or your seventh or however many Bitcoins you have. It's a great way to do it. ExpressCoin.com, coupon code FTL. We'll get back into North Korea here in moments. First, Ron is in Richmond, Virginia, listening to LRN.FM. Hello, Ron. Hey there. Uh, first, I wanted to say, I think you turned me on the purse. I just got my first shipment I ordered. Um, Excellent. I didn't say because I did the get it right away option. I just was testing it out. But now that I have, I'm going to uh, kind of see how much I can save. So you're using um, uh, saveitpurse.com to save, right. uh, uh, you know, the average is 20%. But like you said, you tried the purse instant, which gets you, I think, 5% off, but you don't have to wait for somebody to place the order. Correct. And I kind of needed what I wanted right away. I didn't want to have to wait for it. So. But I am Perfect. going to put some stuff on my wish list on to uh, maybe a 30%. And yeah, man. I just got something on my wish list at 40% off through saveitpurse.com. Yeah, so I was um, the reason I called was I was reading um, uh, Mary J. Rourke's, uh book, Short Answers to Tough Questions. That's a good one. And yeah, and I was um, I noticed uh, she may have mentioned to the International Society of Individual uh, Liberties (ISIL). Yep. And it just kind of stuck out in my head because that is the uh, acronym that the administration chooses to use for ISIS. Uh, or what ISIS prefers to be called themselves, the uh, Arabic word for state. I saw the and, same article uh, and had the same thought. <laughs> right, exactly. So it, to me, it just it, it almost stuck out like they're trying to make a underhanded uh, uh, connotation or maybe even how progressives like to take language and kind of twist it over time. It seems like that maybe it's almost semi-intentional where they're trying to associate libertarianism with terrorism on an international level down the road. I, I don't know. I don't know that who seems they are. Pretty conspiratorial. Well, I don't know who they are, but I would say that there are certainly some writers, and some of those writers uh, are, uh, you know, sort of progressive liberal type writers. And I'd say even go so far as to say a majority of ones that uh, sort of take a position are, are doing just that. That's what I think. Well, wait a minute. Okay, but what he's saying, maybe I misunderstood. Ron, what you're saying is that you think there's some sort of government plan to call the ISIS people, ISIL, so as to confuse people about the International F- Society for Individual Liberty? Well, I wouldn't I don't say it's think that so. overt. I wouldn't say it's that overt. Um, you know uh, Bernard Shaw, right, I'm sure? I do not. And Okay, Bernard Shaw was a, um, uh, he was a philosopher in England um, who basically, he was for eugenics and all kinds of nasty stuff, and I um, uh, he was a what you would call a. Uh, I mean, he was progressive, basically. The progressives really uh, looked up to him. And then you got people like um, Bernays, um, who was the uh, the guy who basically invented modern propaganda and, and commercialism in America. And uh, and even the Germans copied off a lot of his techniques in uh, World War II. So uh, these people basically 
uh, were both progressives, and both of them basically were very big on using language to manipulate uh, thought. Just like uh, in 1984, um, that that same concept is uh, provided where if you remove certain types of language, people won't have the ability to have free thought. Sure, like, and then there's double speak and all that. I mean, there's no doubt that uh, the people in positions of power have an interest in manipulating language to better control (laughs) uh, people. I think using ISIL would probably be a pretty poor way of influencing people subconsciously about yeah. libertarianism because as a longtime libertarian, I barely know who they are. Exactly. The, they don't exist in the public imagination. Yeah, I, I mean, I've heard of them. I know they exist. I know they've made some brochures or something like that. But as far as libertarian organizations go, they are not on the front, uh, the front lines of anything. So I, I think that uh, you're going a little too far into conspiracy land with this one okay well, I just, it stuck out my head so i want all right to call it. there you call. go ron anything else you want to share uh no i enjoy your show every night but uh you know uh i, I think north korea um is is worse than anything we can possibly imagine or that we hear in this news story so yeah i think you're right about that thank you ron for your call uh, what he's referring to is a story from ted.com uh, the article written by Suki Kim, she's telling her story. This is actually an excerpt from her investigative memoir where she describes the experience of teaching English at a Pyongyang University of Science and Technology where she says that these 19-year-old male students that she had did not even understand the idea of being able to support a statement with evidence. Uh, they did not These are scientists, science students. Yeah, exactly. They did not understand the you know these basic concepts of how to actually do science. And again, she's teaching an English class. So she had them uh, pick topics. She gave them four articles from the New York Times, Financial Times, and a couple other places. And she was surprised when the news from there did not even uh, evoke a response. The next day, several students stopped by her office during office hours, and they all wanted to change their essay topics. Curiously, the new topics had to do with the ills of American society. One of them's revised thesis said this, Despite the harmful effects of nuclear weapons, some countries, such as the United States, keep developing nuclear weapons, unquote. A third student wanted to write about the evils of allowing people to own guns so freely in America. A fourth student asked me which country produced the most computer hackers. He had been taught that it was America. A fifth wanted to change his topic to divorce. There was no divorce in the DPRK. But in America, the rate was more than 50%. So, uh, and divorce led to crime and mental illness, according to him. I asked, so what happens when people are unhappy uh, here after being married for a while? The student looked at me blankly. Still, another student wanted to write about how McDonald's was horrible. The (laughs) same student then asked me, so what kind of food does McDonald's make? (laughs) It sounds like a leftist. (laughs) Sounds like somebody living in North Korea where they have no idea what is going on in the outside world. I mean, this is like the Truman Show. I don't know if you've ever seen that movie with Jim Carrey in it. Where he's, oh, yeah. It has some, a great yeah, movie. There's, there, there's definitely some uh, corollaries. Or like Pleasantville, where, you know, the world doesn't exist outside. Well, in this world, uh, the North, North Korean world, there is a world outside. There, people know that. And they're taught a lot about the United States as this evil devil, which, of course, in a lot of cases is true uh, because they are imperialists, the U.S. government. uh, But they're also telling lots of lies uh, as well. So we'll tell you more about this lady's experience teaching English in North Korea. You can share your thoughts on Free Talk Live. Okay, open your mouth and say, ah. When your child has a sore throat, you need to know when to get help. The doctor-recommended Say Ah Sore Throat Exam is your solution. The scientifically designed oral retractor offers a clear view of the throat, relaxing the tongue and minimizing gag reflex. Compare with a medical-grade chart, website, and app. Then you'll know just what to tell your doctor. A wellness plan in your hands in minutes. Go to sayahnow.com. Sayahnow.com, the new mainstay for every family's first aid kit. Owe $10,000 or more to the IRS? Get on board with the tax admiral. Don't pick on the IRS alone. I'll cut penalties and reduce your overall tax bill. Sometimes I can even get it zeroed out completely. We're an A-rated company helping people clean up their mess with the IRS. If you owe $10,000 or more, then call the tax admiral. Call 800-287-7180. Again, that's 800-287-7180. 800-287-7180. 
Most of us already know that taking a fish oil supplement to boost omega-3s is a good idea. But did you know that about 60% of Americans are actually deficient in omega-3s? Did you know that most fish oil products contain only about 25% omega-3s and the remaining 75% is undesirable fish fat? Heck, did you know that more than 90% of fish oil supplements sold in the USA are not even made here? If you want to boost your omega-3s using the finest American-made fish oil, check out Nutrigold Fish Oil Supplements on www.fishoil.best. Nutrigold fish oils are independently five-star certified and guaranteed to be exceptionally pure. That means no more fish burps. Best of all, just one Nutrigold fish oil capsule contains more omega-3s than four standard fish oil capsules. Go to www.fishoil.best or call 888-920-1497 and use promo code BESTFISHOIL to get a free one-month supply. That's www.fishoil.best or call 888-920-1497. This is Dan Pillett. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands, and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement, and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX, or my website, danpillett.com. Sciatica, lower back pain, hip pain, poor posture. If you suffer from any of these problems, get ready to relax. Introducing an amazing product that's been in the market for over 25 years, the Sacro Wedgie. It was invented by a football coach using a common sense osteopath technique. He created this device to help his athletes by isolating and supporting the sacrum, which is the keystone of our anatomy. This wedge-shaped bone is in the center of our hips, where a lot of pain starts. Simply relax 20 minutes daily on the amazingly simple Sacro Wedgie and let gravity do the work, helping muscles rebalance and start releasing nerves. Sit in the sacro wedgie at the computer or while traveling to help correct posture to finally help relieve those stubborn aches and pains for only $33.95. It's made in the USA, so click the family-owned website at sacrowedgie.com, spelled S-A-C-R-O-W-E-D-G-Y.com, or call 1-800-737-9295. That's 1-800-737-9295. Relax your back pain away with the sacro wedgie. KDArmor.com is your one-stop shop for the most affordable body armor, period. With packages starting at $169.99 and free shipping on every order. KD offers soft armor and rifle threat rated armor up to level 4. Go to KDArmor.com and get your body armor today while you still can. Mention this ad and receive a free tactical scarf for a limited time with any body armor package. That's KATIArmor.com. Come and take it. This is Free Talk Live. Call in toll-free, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-FREE. This is Free Talk Live. Join in here toll free, 855 450 free. More from Bizarro Land, aka North Korea, where everything is just not what it seems. It's a very strange place. Our toll free number, if you want to join us, 855 450 free. That's 855 450 3733. We also have Skype at Skype username lrn.fm with you in studio tonight. It's Ian. Rich Paul. And Mark. And, of course, you can join us online. So don't forget to go to freetalklive.com where you can actually create the content right there on the front page of the website. Other listeners like you have submitted news stories, YouTube videos, fun stuff, whatever link you want to. You can submit through our Reddit-based system, and then other listeners can vote whether they like or dislike. So uh, go there and get interactive. It's all free at freetalklive.com. More with North Korea coming up here in a moment. First, Glenn is in Philly. You're on Free Talk Live with Ian, Rich, and Mark. Hello, uh, gentlemen. Hi, Glenn. Um, about, about the term ISIL, uh, when, is, when an Islamic State started out, they started out as the Islamic State in Iraq. Okay, then they expanded and then became the Islamic State in Iraq and Syria. Well, they probably just didn't want to continue tacking letters on, so they themselves just shortened it to Islamic State, presumably with the right to expand infinitely to create caliphate. Mm -hmm. But the term ISIL is clearly a, you know, it's an academic, you know, that includes the word Levant, okay? Levant. Islamic State, Iraq, and Levant. 
Now, that is an academic term, okay? That's an, a Western egg-headed intellectual academic who obviously chose that. The term Levant is inclusive. It refers to the Middle East as inclusive of the state of Israel. So it's, it's my conjecture that whoever, you know, pretentiously fabricated the acronym ISIL wanted the word Levant in there, so, in there to, you know, so as to conjure the fear of Islamic State as a threat to Israel because it's in the Levant, after all. You know, okay. so, I, and it's not a huge conspiracy, but it's an academic manipulation. I don't know why you would, uh, I don't know why we are, uh, you decided that it was academic, necessarily. I mean, I don't know whether... It is. It find is. the word, okay, find, find the word, okay, find the word Levant used in anything other than, you know, something written by someone with like a master's thesis or a PhD or addressing, you know, someone highly schooled geopolitician or, you know, sociologist or something like that. You don't find the word Levant kicked around, you know, every day in the newspaper. Well, it's certainly not okay, in the newspaper, but nobody, no newspaper reader in the United States named ISIL. Um, I mean, I don't know whether people no. who are speaking Arabic in the Middle East may very well refer to that they, area they as... Never Okay, they never referred to themselves as having anything to do with the Levant. Okay, the word. I'll Levant take Glenn's word for it. Uh, how do we know? Does, uh, how, how many languages well, do you right, speak, well, Glenn? Well, okay, okay. How many times have you tripped across the word Levant in your perusals of Time Magazine? I think never. The first, I've never heard it. I think the first time, the, the first time I heard it, report. the first time I recall hearing it is when it was uh, used in the word ISIL. Right. Yeah, me too. Bingo, because it's used by academics who are talking about geopol geopolitics. Well, how do we like jump that? from one okay. to the other? I mean, there are lots of words I haven't mm. heard used before. That doesn't mean that they were coming up. Well, okay, it seems okay. to me a reasonable hypothesis a that hypothesis. if you haven't seen it, heard it before, it's... it's yeah, I'm, I'm hypothesizing because I'm familiar with the use of the word Levant, okay? Yeah. I have enough yeah, educational background that I know when the word Levant is used. Yeah, so okay, what you're saying is this was chosen by a news editor somewhere as a way yeah. to refer to this group. That ICE, ICE, oh, IS yeah, did I not necessarily, the Islamic doctor. State did not select that for themselves. No, and not a news, no, it's probably more like a geopolitical spin doctor word weasel. Okay, it was wedged in there awkwardly and deliberately so as to conjure the image of a possibility of a threat to Israel because the law includes Israel. None of the other you know, acronyms, you know, used for them, I do any such thing. Glenn, thanks and for your call okay. tonight. I appreciate hearing from yeah. you. Toll-free numbers, 855-450-FREE, 855-450-3733. I, I think it certainly makes sense to just call them the Islamic State, but ISIS seems to stick more, I think, with people. At least that, that's the one I've heard the most referenced by by people is yeah. ISIS. But the government uses ISIL. Uh, Obama they? Obama says ISIL. Well, maybe that's what he's suggesting there uh, is that— It's you know, a suggestion. Was... I mean, I just don't have anything yeah. upon which uh, to, to, you know, he says he's Well, until it's proven with... otherwise, I'm taking Glenn's uh, word for it. Our toll-free number tonight, because why that's not? That's not the way science works. This isn't a science show. It's an entertainment show. Oh, 855 450 free. If I'm it's, not entertained if there's by some his other different either. story, <laughs> If there's a different story, then you need to find the uh, the evidence to counter his claims. No, I don't. That's like saying I have to prove the existence of God. I do not. Well, he gave his proof. He gave his uh, his hypothesis, and if you his... disagree with it, then you should uh, you know provide a counter one. I don't think I have to. Well, then let's accept it as uh, I shan't as acceptable. <laughs> Moving on here, uh, our toll free number is eight fifty five four fifty free. So back to North Korea, where a lady taught about two hundred and seventy young men in their late teens. These are people that are at a science university in North Korea, a Christian science university. Christian evangelicals, actually, were the other teachers in the building. She was the only one who was not a Christian evangelical. I don't understand this building. So she's from North Korea or not from South North Korea? She's, she's from, from South Seoul. Korea. She's been brought over to teach at an evangelical Christian school. For the sons of the elite. Where? I, I, I It's just, bizarre. It's bizarre. There's nothing that makes sense about, very, very little that makes sense about North Korea. So they wanted to switch their essay topic. She's teaching English. They wanted to switch their essay topics to condemn America. And she says it seemed to be compelled by the articles about Zuckerberg, the founder of Facebook. What I had intended as inspirational, they must have viewed as boasting and felt slighted. The nationalism that had been instilled in them for so many generations had produced a citizenry whose ego was so fragile that they refused to acknowledge the rest of the world. 
my efforts to expand their awareness kept backfiring. Well, that's uh, I've watched some docu- documentaries, and one thing that they seem to say over and over again is is that they are in, in North Korea fiercely, fiercely nationalistic. And the way oh, yeah. that, and one of the ways that you create nationalism, among others, but one of the ways that you do it is, is essentially pointing out at all the enemies. Now, the United States, oftentimes you'll find the most fiercely nationalistic people here to also be constantly looking outward at the enemies. Right. You know, they've Same got, tactic works here. They've got enemy, enemy. I don't know if it's being done by the government or who it's or just sort of societal or whatever. Well, it's but definitely I'd, a deliberate tactic of the government to create uh, evils around the world for them to battle and keep you safe from. I mean, that's absolutely a deliberate choice on their part. That's no accident. Well, they it. You gotta the have results a boogeyman. are similar. You gotta have a boogeyman, whether it's the war on terror, the war on drugs, or whoever the boogeyman is of the moment, Boko Haram. The war uh, is the health of the state, as Saddam they say. Saddam Hussein. Yeah, a small gang of boogeyman boogeymen usually. They you know, different things keep different people scared. Right. The more the merrier, of course, then you know the government can uh, you know, keep people in fear and therefore they will feel like they need the government. So her efforts to expand their awareness kept backfiring. When I had them write a paragraph about Kim Jang, the annual kimchi making tradition, I was handed a pile of preachy, self-righteous tirades. Almost half the students claimed that kimchi was the most famous food in the world and that all other nations were envious of it. Now that's foul swill? <laughs> <laughs> Rotted cabbage? They're in deep kimchi now. <laughs> One student wrote that the American government had named it the official food of the 1996 Atlanta Olympics. It might have been. When I questioned him, he said everyone knew this fact and that he could even prove it since his Korean textbook said so. A quick internet search revealed that a Japanese manufacturer had claimed that kimchi was a Japanese dish and proposed it as an official Olympic food, but it had been denied. Somehow this news item had been relayed to them in twisted form and was now treated as general knowledge. To, my, ooh, to correct my statements on each bit of informa- misinformation was taxing and sometimes meant straying into dangerous territory. Another teacher said, no way, don't touch that. If their book said it was true, you can't tell them it was a lie. Sometimes they would ask why I never ate much white rice. They piled their trays with huge heaps of it at every meal, whereas I always put just a little on my tray. I explained that I like white rice, but did not care for it all the time. They asked what kinds of food I ate other than rice and naengmyeon, their national dish. I couldn't exactly go on about fresh fruit, smoothies, and eggs benedict, so I named two western dishes that I knew they'd heard of, spaghetti and hot dogs. And we will tell you more of this story. Where does it go from here? Sounds Eight, like a horror. 855 450 free. That's 855 450 3733. What was it like to teach English in North Korea? We'll continue the story, and you can share your thoughts as well. This is Free Talk Live. When we ran out, we stopped using it. Why would you stop? Why undo all the good that's been accomplished? We thought everything was fine, and that was not a good thing. No, 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 no. He started stinking. It was awful. Shedding comes back. Loss of hair, lots of dandruff. Scratching will return. His shedding will increase. If I ever took Roy off of Dynavite, he would go back to his hair loss. <gasps> D-I-N-O-V-I-T-E dot com. 859-428-1000. When I get down to the bottom of my box of Dynavite, when I get to about three quarters. Oh no, I've got a couple more scoops. It's time to place my order. Dynavite.com. Each and every day she is getting that Dynavite. The omega-3 fatty acids. Flaxseed, zinc, alfalfa. The digestive enzymes that are cooked out of regular dog food. Just feed your dog right. Use Dynavite. If it's working, don't quit. Don't do what I did and run out. 859-428-1000. 859-428-1000. D-I-N-O-V-I-T-E dot com. No way. Is that a real bullet necklace? No, it's a 9mm bullet necklace with matching earrings, you'll notice. Those are awesome. Where'd you get them? Dave found them at PatriotNecklace.com. Wow. They have a variety of calibers and necklaces and earrings and keychains. PatriotNecklace.com. PatriotNecklace.com. Your choice of caliber bullet includes a rugged American-made stainless steel dog tag chain. A percentage of every sale goes to military and service-related charities. And get a discount by entering GCN at checkout. Show your patriotism and support our troops with a bullet necklace from PatriotNecklace.com. The human body is more than 60% water. Your brain and muscles are 75% water. And your blood is 92% water. Water is vital to your body, and alkalizing your water is the key to keep it running at its best. 
AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops keep your entire body healthy, boosts energy, promotes weight loss, and even fights cancer. Call 800-518-7615 or go to AlkaVision.com to find out more. That's ALKAVision.com. We the people grow cotton, weave fabric, engrave ink, embed strips and fibers to protect from counterfeit and carting to a private bank, having it led back at interest, forcing taxes to service debt. This capitalism, or was Jefferson correct when stating a central bank issuing the public currency is a greater menace to the liberties of the people than a standing army? Ted Anderson, I'm placing a free silver dollar in a book that explains our monetary system. Call for your copy, 800-686-2237. It's time to understand the system. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Don't complain about your cable bill going up and up and up. Do something about it. Grab a pencil and jot down this special number. 1-855-905-MY-TV. The more cable TV rates go up, the better digital satellite TV looks. Say goodbye to the cable guy. And get more of your favorite channels in 100% digital quality for less money. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. Sign up for packages starting as low as $19.99 and there's no equipment to buy. You get free HD TV upgrade, a free DVR upgrade, and free professional and installation you control what you watch when you watch it record your favorite shows pause and rewind live tv even skip the commercials watch local channels too at just 19.99 what are you waiting for pull out your major credit or debit card call 1-855-905-MY-TV 1-855-905-MY-TV say goodbye to the cable guy cut costs and get more 1-855-905-MY-TV 1-855-905-MY-TV Paid non-attorney spokesperson Adam Pulaski of the Pulaski Law Firm with principal office in Houston, Texas is the attorney responsible for the content of this ad. This ad is not legal advice and the choice of a lawyer should not be based solely upon advertisement. Services may not be available in all states. Attention Zarelto users. If you or a loved one took Zarelto and suffered a serious bleeding event, you may be entitled to financial compensation. Zarelto is a popular prescription blood thinner used to prevent blood clots and protect patients from strokes. These serious bleeding events have led to numerous cases of hospitalization and even death. Phone lines are open 24-7. Call 800-261-0937. That's 800-261-0937. You're listening to Free Talk Live. Call in toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-FREE. More from the strange world of North Korea. What was it like to teach English there at a school for the elite for science and technology? They're supposedly turning out scientists, but these... Students who are now, you know, they're, ni- they're 19 years old, they don't even understand the basics of science, like how to back up a claim with evidence. And she's teaching English, so we'll get to more of uh, her exp- experience. It's from TED.com, by the way. This is from Suki Kim, and we'll continue with that. Uh, you can also join us toll-free at 855-450-FREE. Your comments on North Korea or whatever happens to be on your mind. Coming up, the Satanists are back at it, the Satanic Temple looking to put their uh, statue of Baphomet in Arkansas this time. We'll tell you what's going on with that. Back to the story here from TED.com. want to invite you also to freetalklive.com. Check out all the cool features there. They are totally free. So she's uh, having a conversation about rice and other foods with uh, the students. They were asking her why she doesn't eat as much rice as they do, and she explains that uh, she likes other food besides rice, and she mentions naengmyeon, their national dish, but she realized she could not go on about... it doesn't about, have any meat in it. She realized she could not go on about fresh fruit smoothies and eggs benedict, so she named two Western dishes that she knew they'd heard of, spaghetti and hot dogs. She says, I knew that North Koreans enjoyed their own version of sausage because I'd seen them lining up for it at the International Trade Fair. One of the students who wrote in his Kim Jang homework, quote, those Koreans who prefer hot dogs and spaghetti over kimchi bring shame on their motherland by forgetting the superiority of kimchi. <laughs> Nothing, it seemed, could break through their belligerent isolation. Moreover, this attitude... They le- might as well be belligerent because they're never going to get to leave the country, right? They might as well be fiercely nationalistic. It's a survival tactic. Mm. And it is, you know, it it works uh, they might as well be ha- be happy with what they have because they're never going to get more. Well, of course, if they became unhappy with what they have, I mean, dictators are all subject to hanging. 
They all die if you hang them by the neck until dead, 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 and it's, then they don't bother you anymore. But uh, we can look at human his- <laughs> we can look at human history, and it's rare that a dictator is taken out by anybody but another dictator. Well, remember, um, there's something going on at the side uh, in the regular world of North Korea at the same time as this is happening in the school of the elite. Okay, so there's there's sort of at least two faces to North Korea, right? There's the front-facing version of what you have to be like in order to not get thrown into a prison camp. So you have to be fiercely nationalistic. You have to be heard saying, pra- singing the praises of the dear leader, or, or else you're going to get in trouble. Mm-hmm. And if you get in trouble, then they might also put your family members in jeopardy as well. This is a common punishment tactic in North Korea is if uh, Rich Paul if does if Rich Paul does something wrong, then they'll go after his parents. And they'll punish them as well. So that's a, that's a way they keep people in line. So the front-facing persona is one thing. But then there's the black market reality of North Korea. And that's where you can get the laptops with the American films. Remember we talked earlier this week about uh, there are people who are sentenced to a prison camp because they were watching an American movie. And that's because they get those movies from flash drives that are smuggled into the country. So they literally have people from South Korea and China smuggling in products that are very illegal in North Korea, but also hugely popular. Uh, the folks from the Liberty in North Korea, which is a great activist group that is helping to free people and you know give people a way, uh, sort of like a path to leave North Korea. They uh, had a, uh, I guess, a, a series of uh, talks that were being given last year on the Jangmadang, as I believe how it is uh, called there, which is the black market. That's the North Korean word for essentially an underground marketplace. And it was inter- it was an interesting presentation because this is a very, very popular thing there. And to some extent, it's tolerated by the government because the black market has been what has been responsible for basically feeding people in North Korea over the last decade. Right. If you were to get rid of this very popular thing, then uh, that would make them even more unpopular. So but my point is the experience of these boys in this class and the way they have to behave there may be different from the way they would behave if they were on the streets and, you know, in the black market, actually experiencing other foods. So it's really, it's hard to know what reality is. Or maybe they're so uh, privileged that they're actually not able to get to the black market. I don't know what that's like for them, but I don't know if this is who they really are. See, the thing I have to wonder about those who came in and uh, wanted to change the topic of their essays to something criticizing America is... Were they afraid that the what they had read was a trap? Yeah, well, they might be afraid that the uh, the administrators, or if there was another word for them, the uh, the people who are overseeing the class, the counterparts. Thank you. Yeah, the counterparts. They, maybe they're afraid that they'll they'll get in trouble if they don't write something bad about America. Exactly. Exactly. So, uh, going on here, nothing, it seemed, could break through their belligerent isolation. Moreover, this attitude left no room for any argument, since all roads led to just one conclusion. I returned the paper to him with a comment. Why is it not possible to like both spaghetti and kimchi? After several lessons on the essay, a student said to me at dinner, quote, a strange thing happened during our social science class this afternoon, unquote. They never volunteered information about their Jewish class, so I listened intently. The student continued, we had to write an essay. He explained that they normally wrote short compositions in Korean and that he had never thought of them as essays before, but now he did. And it made him feel strange. What was so strange? I asked. He said, I don't know. Pausing thoughtfully, I looked at it as an essay and I realized that it was different now. Writing in English and writing in Korean are so different, but then it is also the same. And I kept thinking of the essay structure as I was writing it. And it made me feel strange. Unquote. I didn't question him further, but I thought I understood. It must have been deeply confusing to approach his writing on Jush like an essay. In his country, there was no proof, no checks and balances, unless, of course, they wanted to prove that the great leader had single-handedly written hundreds of operas and thousands of books and saved the nation and done a miraculous number of things. Their entire system was designed not to be questioned and to quash critical thinking. So the form of an essay in which a thesis had to be proven was antithetical to their entire system. The writer of an essay acknowledges the arguments opposing his thesis and refutes them. Here, opposition was not an option. I stared across at him and felt a familiar sick feeling. Perhaps this was only the beginning. 
the questions they would have, the questions they should be asking, the questions they would realize that they had not been asking because they didn't imagine they could or because asking meant that they could no longer exist in their system. And maybe that was the weirdness that the guy was feeling, like having independent thought, being able to connect the idea that language is just you know, a different way of communicating the same ideas from one person to another. I mean, making these kind of connections that we all take for granted uh, here for him was like a weird tingling sensation, right? Like, I'm surprised that? they even let the I'm surprised they let anyone uh, teach English there to the elite or whatever. But I suppose they have to have that to some extent just to be able to create their propaganda, right? It's fascinating stuff. Uh, it's an excerpt, by the way, from a book called Without You, There Is No Us, Suki Kim's investigative memoir of teaching English in North Korea during the last six months of Kim Jong-il's reign. I, I got to say, I'm fascinated by this stuff. Reading mm -hmm. and, and watching things about North Korea, it's just such a bizarre place that uh, is essentially a prison uh, prison nation. I mean, they really do take the, the whole prison nation idea to the maximum level. I mean that you could you mm. could make the argument that every nation is essentially a, a prison or a or a, or kind of like a a plantation might be a better word for it in, mm -hmm. in certain cases where they're they're farming human beings as cattle uh, sort of tax cattle that they can use to extract our wealth and uh, extract you know not just our wealth but also our time and put that put that to the use of the ruling class it, that's true everywhere but north korea they literally are a prison because you you can't leave i mean there's barbed wire on the beach some people will say that the united states has more people in prison than any other uh, country in the world i would put up north korea against them simply because you can't get stats you can't leave Okay, I'll give you that. But as far as their actual prisons within the country, you can't get any data from them. So you, I, I know what I'm saying is, is the that, chart. Um, that that if you took a prisoner in the United States and uh, put him over in North Korea for a year, and then asked him, "Hey, what would you? Where would you like to stay for the rest of your life? <laughs> Prison or North Korea?" I'd be interested. God, that would in, be interesting. I would be interested in knowing what the uh, the answer would be. Um, I suspect, as I understand it, there's uh, th there are a few sort of white guys over in uh, North Korea. Um, there's a defector um, who I saw a film on um, at one point from the Korean War, so he's a rather old guy. But they have particular bars for non North Korean nationals. Bars places for them to go hang out. I don't know what he did for a living. I couldn't figure that out huh. uh, from the movie. Maybe I just forgot it, but um, he may just be their, their pet white guy from what I can tell. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, mm. But uh, yeah, he, he'd he gone through several wives there, and <laughs> which I guess, yeah, I don't know. Dor divorce not heard of? Got me. Book sounds fascinating. That's Suki Kim. Book is Without You, There Is No Us. That was an excerpt from it, her memoirs. I will uh, put the link to this TED Talk over on our Facebook and Twitter. Coming up, the Satanists, the Satanic Temple, they're back at it, and uh, they are looking to put Baphomet, their big statue, in Arkansas at the state capitol. 855 450 free. It's Free Talk Live. When the leading antihistamine and Nasacort go nose to nose, Nasacort wins, stopping more of the chemical responses that can cause your nasal allergy symptoms. And when you stop more causes, you get 24-hour relief from sneezing, an itchy runny nose, even congestion. It's prescription strength medicine available over the counter. Nasacort Allergy 24 Hour. Stops more of what makes you miserable. Uses directed. There comes a time when you need custom embroidered or screen printed apparel for your business, organization, or a special event. Corporate Casuals has been helping people create great looking logoed apparel for over 25 years. They can produce a single piece or thousands using name brand apparel like Nike, Patagonia, Adidas, and Hanes. Create your logo in their online embroidery design studio or upload your existing logo and they'll turn it into embroidery. Go to corporatecasuals.com FTL and include FTL in the order notes and save 5% on your order. Are you tired of commuting to a job that makes someone else rich? Working harder than ever, but getting nowhere? Do you hate spending hundreds of dollars every week on daycare? Having someone else raise your children? With our opportunities, you can start earning money as soon as next week. You get to be the boss, work from home, and live a happier life. 
At Be The Boss Network, you'll find hundreds of work-from-home opportunities that you can literally start today and be earning money as soon as next week. Go to freedom106.com and start earning money as soon as next week. You get to be the boss. Get out of the rat race. Work from home. Go to freedom106.com right now and change your life today. That's freedom, the number 106.com. Go to freedom106.com and start earning money as soon as next week. You be the boss. Go to freedom106.com. Thank you for listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. Breaking news this hour from townhall.com. I'm Keith Peters. The U.S. Senate is debating a measure to disapprove of the Iran nuclear deal, even as the outcome may already be known. California Democrat Barbara Boxer praises the Iran nuclear deal in part because of its inspection criteria. The deal includes the most intrusive inspections regime ever negotiated. Texas Republican Ted Cruz scoffs at that assertion. It is not much of an exaggeration to say the inspection regime envisioned in this deal is simply picking up the phone, calling the Ayatollah Khamenei and asking, are you developing nuclear weapons? No. Very good. Thank you. Lawmakers have until the end of next week to pass the resolution of disapproval, but Senate Democrats already have enough votes to block it. Linda Kenyon, Capitol Hill. While the Senate was in session, thousands of protesters gathered outside the U.S. Capitol, urging lawmakers to scuttle the deal. Former Alaska Governor Sarah Palin says that President Obama is trying to do an end run around Congress with the Iran nuclear deal. Congress, you got to kill the deal. The president is playing you, Congress, again. He so disrespects you, Congress, and our Constitution. In California, the state assembly voted today to approve an assisted suicide bill that saved California's Randy Thomas and calls a very dangerous proposal. People in history have had their lives taken away when others regard them as cheaper dead or regard them as simply a thing to be uh, moved out of the way. The state Senate is expected to follow the lead of the Assembly, but Governor Jerry Brown has not signaled whether he will sign or veto the bill. Arizona authorities are investigating a string of highway shootings that have rattled nerves and heightened fears of a possible serial shooter. In the latest development, a truck's passenger window shattered on a Phoenix freeway. Authorities have not yet confirmed whether the glass was shot out. Nobody was hurt. On Wall Street, the down on by 239 points. More on these stories at townhall.com. Paid Nunn Attorney Spokesperson Adam Pulaski of the Pulaski Law Firm with Principal Office in Houston, Texas, is the attorney responsible for the content of this ad. This ad is not legal advice, and the choice of a lawyer should not be based solely upon advertisement. Services may not be available in all states. Attention, Zarelto users. If you or a loved one took Zarelto and suffered a serious bleeding event, you may be entitled to financial compensation. Zarelto is a popular prescription blood thinner used to prevent blood clots, but doctors have discovered they're unable to reverse or control serious side effects, such as internal bleeding caused by Zarelto. These serious bleeding events have led to numerous cases of hospitalization and even death. If you or a loved one was hospitalized for any form of internal bleeding or stroke after taking Xarelto, you may be entitled to a cash award and substantial financial compensation. There's limited time to file a claim, so call 800-714-0385 now. Call 800-714-0385. Phone lines are open 24-7. Call 800-714-0385. That's 800-714-0385. Again, 800-714-0385. Sharks are showing up in record numbers along one stretch of U.S. coastline. A newly released federal study shows a record number of sharks swimming off the coast from Florida to North Carolina. The Virginia pilot of Norfolk reports that the increase in sharks comes even as North Carolina set a record for shark attacks over the summer. Eight people were attacked by sharks along the North Carolina coast this year, the most since a Florida group began counting attacks 80 years ago. Bob Agnew reporting. Police in Baltimore are preparing for demonstrators tomorrow at the second pretrial hearing in the case against six officers charged in the death of Freddie Gray. Gray died last April, a week after the 25-year-old black man suffered a critical spinal injury while in the back of a police van. His death prompted protests and rioting that shook the city and caused millions of dollars in damage. Baltimore has also seen a huge increase in crimes committed. News and analysis at townhall.com. I'm Keith Peters. Republican presidential candidate Jeb Bush's tax plan calls for a lower corporate rate and immediate deductions for business investments. 
Jeb Bush told a rally in Garner, North Carolina, he wants to create a tax system that is simple and fair. This plan moves money out of the hands of politicians in Washington, D.C., and give it, gives it back to hardworking Americans like you who will use the money, they say, for their own priorities, not government's priorities. He also will jumpstart the U.S. economy out of a Democratic doldrum of slow growth and flat wages. The new normal is a comfortable ride for the affluent people living on their portfolios. They're doing fine. Hello, Derek. My plan will help those that live on Derek, can you hear me? Derek, can you hear me? He proposes doubling the standard deduction, eliminating the marriage penalty, expanding the earned income tax credit, and ending the check, 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 one, two, check, check, check. Tax. More on these stories at check, check, one, two. All right, great. I am not listening to you, though. Stand, stand by. Let me, uh, I wasn't listening to you. That's why. Hang on. Let me unmute you. All right, say something. This is Derek J, and it looks like you've got 45 seconds. I do hear you. Yes, I do. Okay. All right, excellent. Wonderful. I'll see you later. See if you can maybe boost your levels a little bit. It's not terrible, but see if you can tweak them out. How's that? I just boosted by about 5%. Yep. Okay, a little more. Uh. Yeah. No? You know, you're all right. all right for right now, I would say. Let's. Uh, okay. you, are you going to have anybody else in studio tonight, or is it just you? Nope, just me and uh, people across the interwebs. All right, cool. Yeah, let's uh, let's do another test. That way I can compare you to your people right before the show. So, uh, just, Cool, uh, thanks, Ian. Just hit me up Appreciate on Telegram it. right beforehand. All right, talk all right, to brother. you later. Thanks. Bye. Mention this ad and receive a free tactical scarf for a limited time with any body armor package. That's CATIarmor.com. Come and take it. Free Talk Live. This is Free Talk Live, and you may join us here toll-free. 855-450-FREE is our number, whether you want to discuss North Korea or the Satanic Temple. Also still to come, Uber actually being deregulated, as well as the taxi business in one city with which Mark and I are intimately familiar. Uh, we will share that story with you. And uh, John McAfee is running for president. That's kind of a shocker. <laughs> He's the, That's the same McAfee behind the virus software that yes. you might have on your computer right now. Wasn't he recently party? charged with murder in like Belize or something? Something about that. Wanted he's, for murder in he's Belize. He's actually starting his own party. You know, let's jump right into this. It's actually not a real long story here from Time Magazine. Uh, the story is that antivirus software tycoon John McAfee plans to run for president. The developer confirmed to uh, yesterday he will run under his own newly created party, Rich, the Cyber Party. McAfee, who teased the official announcement on his Twitter, said he decided to run after encouragement from, quote, almost everyone he knew. CNN Money reports the self-described eccentric. <laughs> Go ahead, run for president. The hmm. self-described eccentric millionaire known for his... <laughs> he describes himself as an eccentric millionaire. You know? Known for a strange run-in with authorities in Belize three years ago, said his primary motivation to enter the race was the government's problems with security and surveillance. He said, quote, we are uh, losing privacy at an alarming rate. We have none left. We've given up so much for the illusion of security, and our government is simply dysfunctional, he said, adding that he plans to release an explainer for his new cyber party. He said, I have a huge underground following on the web. I promise you. I will win because I have the votes. Well, John, there's one small problem. You don't have the Republican or Democratic Party behind you. And if you don't have one of the two major parties behind your political campaign, you have a lot of work to do. Right. You're not going to get uh, you're just not going to get on the ballot. And you're not going to get on the ballot in many states. You can't even do a write in. Which, by the way, I am uh, running a write-in campaign for president right now, um, and I promise to give you twice what Bernie Sanders will give you. The uh, <laughs> John McAfee here. Uh, You're going to destroy the economy twice? <laughs> <laughs> Why? Isn't that redundant? If $15 an hour, if, if $15 an hour is good, $30 an hour will be better. Being unemployed at $30 an hour is no better than being unemployed at $15 an <laughs> hour. You've met your match, Mark. <laughs> so the libertarians have been running candidates for a long time. And 
not even the Libertarian Party, which is arguably the third largest political party in the United States. Inarguably. I would say arguably at this point because I've heard the Greens were doing pretty well over the last few few years, so I don't know what the current stats are. The Libertarian Party used to make that claim a decade and a half ago, and I don't know if it's still Four true. Four years ago, or three years ago, uh, Gary Johnson got the most votes he ever got at that a million. That doesn't mean they have a Jill record. Stein didn't get anywhere near that. That doesn't mean they have record numbers in their party. Well, you, you just said counting, counting party votes. members and votes yeah. are not always the same. Exactly. And you've got to have party members in order to have the people who are going to do the brutal work of actually petitioning to get somebody on the ballot. I mean, it is not an easy thing to do. And each, it is brutal. Each state has different requirements. Some states are more uh, difficult than others. Oklahoma, for instance, is one of the worst. Even uh, New Hampshire failed. The, the the New Hampshire Libertarians years ago failed at getting the presidential candidate on the ballot here. So in some instances, the Libertarian Party has had all 50 states. And I think the last time they had all 50 states was Harry Brown's campaign in the year 2000. I Maybe in 2004 with Michael Badnarik. Maybe. I don't know. But since then, they have not actually come to the table with all 50 states. They've had enough to theoretically win, as have the Green Party. So I think if you get like 35 of the 50 states... Right, you have to have enough electoral vol- right. college votes. So if you can get on the ballot in, in that many states, in theory, you could possibly win the election. Jeez, uh, I'd be willing to bet you could win the election with uh, fewer than 10 states if it was the right 10 states. I see what you're saying. So I mean, let's start with New York, California, Florida, yeah. um, Texas... You could certainly prioritize uh, in that way. But John McAfee better get ready here because he's going to have to spend... <laughs> Uh, probably a few of those millions of dollars that he has in order to just get on the ballot. Because odds are good, unless you're on the ballot, a write-in campaign isn't going to cut it. I mean, he's pretty, I mean, I appreciate his optimism here, saying that he thinks he can actually win this because he has the votes. And I think there's no doubt that a lot of the people in the internet community who appreciate the idea of privacy, like, for instance, everybody who's anonymous, I'm sure will be getting out there to promote John McAfee's campaign. Well, I think John McAfee is probably deluded that uh, somehow crazy millionaires have a shot of winning the presidency right about now. I think that's what he's seen. Because of you got to be a crazy billionaire like Trump. Yeah, he is a billionaire, right? <laughs> Trump is. He's got a few billion dollars. Multi. Um, yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know, but okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure he's a billionaire. Let's go to Charlie listening in Arizona to K-Talks. Charlie, you're on Free Talk Live with Ian Rich and Mark. Yes, good evening, gentlemen. Um, you were uh, had your interesting segment on uh, education in North Korea. Yes, sir. And all day today I've heard uh, uh, Obama touting uh, uh, free community college education. Education is important. That's why I listen to your show. But uh, Well, thanks. I mean, how much education do you need to flip burgers? Well, you, it does make you know one I'm wonder. Saying? There's people with bachelor degrees and stuff, uh, flipping burgers. Or they don't even put the prices on there. They just have a sign that shows a hamburger or whatever. <laughs> so you don't even need to read. Yeah, you're right. There are some very low-skilled jobs uh, for which you do not need much of an education at all. Who has a service economy? That's all we are now. Well, the only way that's ever going to change is if uh, Mark's plan gets implemented with the, uh, the the whole blue card where we let people come in here and try to make a better life for themselves. Well, what yeah. other kind of economies are there when you say we're just a, a service economy? Because I think that the United States— As opposed States, to manufacturing. As opposed to that, then yes. Uh, as uh, But one thing that needs to be pointed out is the United States is manufacturing more than it's ever manufactured before. Right? It's just doing it with robots. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. So, right. I mean, there there aren't as many manufacturing jobs as there right. were in the past. You can fix the robots. Because the meat robots demand a certain amount of hours. They demand a certain amount of pay. They demand a certain amount of air conditioning. They demand all kinds of things. And the, by meat robots, you mean humans? Yeah. The okay. metal plastic robots, um, The you know, the metal plastic laborers. Yeah. Do not require the same things nope. the meat laborers require. They don't complain either. No or bathroom organize. bathroom break. Yeah. Charlie, well, bathroom break, I, I'm sure I'm sure everybody, um, you know, is, is happy to pass those out. But, um, you know, it's going to be... No cigarette breaks with the robots. No bathroom bla- breaks. No complaining. No organizing unions. You don't have to worry about any of that stuff. You just have to basically pay somebody who can fix the robots. And as manufacturing gets cheaper and cheaper and we're getting better and better at making robots, then you're going to find even... It, it's just going to be 
too expensive to order things from Bangladesh, have them produced for people who make, you know, five dollars a day by five by people who makes five dollars a day, and then um, you know shipped back over here. It's just the shipping is going to get too expensive. It's well, it, see, that's the thing. I mean, where are they making these robots? <laughs> they'll probably be making them in China. Hey, Charlie, thanks for your call tonight, man. I appreciate hearing from you. Toll-free number for you if you want to join us is 855-450-FREE. I would imagine today they're making them here because mostly what happens is— Robots? Yeah, I would think. I mean, in Japan and the the, the more mature economies where you have the high-skilled engineers, um, you know, to to do stuff. Because— United people from the United States tend to not go for the engineering jobs. They yeah, people usually have to import folks from uh, I, I Asia. Didn't, I didn't say that where from whence the high uh, skilled engineers come. Mm-hmm. I said where the high skilled engineers are. I gotcha. And the high skilled engineers, I would imagine that the United States has a preponderance of highly skilled engineers, regardless of where those people happen to be born. And we also have a pretty nice place to live, so in all likelihood they okay. want to stay here, even if the government is trying to drive them out because the, the government's full of a bunch of uh, xenophobic fools. That's really beside the point. But usually to sort of fabricate something and work out a technology until it's at least to a certain level of maturity, it's going to be one of the Western uh, countries. So who knows anything about John McAfee? Is this guy a libertarian or is he just, uh, you know, know, has various different political views and one of them happens to be that he likes privacy? Who is John McAfee? Now, his campaign site doesn't exist yet. He's just on the cusp of filing. He has allegedly filed the required documents with the Federal Elections Commission. If I would have filed those documents, I'd have a website out. 855 450 free. Who is John McAfee? Every once in a while, you get information that's worth changing your life for. This is one such time. You can save up to and beyond 25% on all purchases at Amazon. You probably heard of Bitcoin and just not thought much about it. You certainly know that you can get competitive pricing at Amazon, but now you can get a 25% discount on nearly everything you need to live. I've just given you a huge raise, and all you have to do is claim it. You go to purse.freetalklive.com and open an account. Do this right now, don't wait. Then you fund the account with Bitcoin. You can buy them through expresscoin.com with a check or money order. There are other ways to get Bitcoin, but that's fast, safe, and easy. This information is worth you changing the way you do things. Go to purse.freetalklive.com right now and get signed up and cash in on the huge raise I'm offering you. 25% off of everything on Amazon through purse.freetalklive.com. It's purse.freetalklive.com. Making the right decisions is a challenge to investors. Are we going to see economic growth, slide into a recession, or at worst, depression? Hi, Ted Anderson from Midas Resources. We all know when a company acts irresponsibly, divesting ourselves in a move towards safety is prudent. When the market becomes volatile, U.S. Treasuries are a safe haven. But what do you do when the U.S. government overextends itself and spends beyond its means? Many investors are turning toward gold as a common-sense alternative to traditional paper investments. Midas Resources has put together a powerful book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, discussing costs, benefits, risks, featuring full-color illustrations, weights, and measures. The book is free and can be yours by calling 800-686-2237. Paper investments are dwarfed by gold's 6,000-year history. Discover how gold may be right for you and your IRA by calling 800-686-2237. Whether buying or it's time for you to sell, the book is free. Call 800-686-2237. We we, we are a survival company. We manufacture our own line of Level 3 and Level 3A body armor. We proudly make our armor 100% in America. We have the best prices in the nation, about $125 cheaper than our nearest competitor. All lab certified, for thou art my rock in my fortress. Psalm 31.3, we are fortress. This is Anarchist that before the internet which was amazing to me because i didn't think anyone even cared about viruses before the internet um and actually i'm going to play the video right now of uh, him telling people to uninstall mcafee antivirus software i'll just play that and we'll come right back start and you cannot cancel or pause mcafee updates at horrible times almost like the creators want you to die So I finally remembered how to uninstall McAfee antivirus software.
So as you can see, amazing video. The, one of my favorites. I've probably watched it like 10 or 20 times. Uh, he's done so many things. He's been in Belize. He got into some sort of problem there. He had to escape to Guatemala. He had to fake a heart attack to get out of there. He's now back in the U.S. And he says he can't come to an Arcapoco at the end of this month because the NSA and the DHS won't let him. So he's a very, very interesting guy. So let's get right to it, John. How did you become an anarchist? I, I was born an anarchist. I, uh, I, I, um, I felt... Even at an early age, he's now back in the U.S. and he says he can't. Teen kits, thirty shot magazines, great prices. They've even got the Hillary special, guns eighty dot com. That's eight four four two guns eighty guns eighty dot com. Now more free talk live. Call in toll free at eight fifty five four fifty free. That's eight fifty five four fifty free. Yeah. It is Free Talk Live, and you may join us here toll-free. Just dial in 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. And you can also visit us online, of course, over at freetalklive.com. And dial in via Skype if you prefer. I prefer. Skype sounds better than phones. Uh, use Skype username lrn.fm. You can join me, Trace Mayer, Stephanie Murphy, Dr. Dr. Stephanie Murphy, former co-host here on the show, and many other great uh, speakers uh, and Bitcoin enthusiasts on October the 29th and 30th at the Bitcoin Investor Conference. It's happening at the beautiful D Hotel in Las Vegas. Now, D is the letter D. And this hotel, I believe, is, has the distinction of being uh, the only casino in Las Vegas that accepts Bitcoin. I've heard there's a couple. Okay, great. Uh, maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong. Certainly, they do accept it. I saw the announcement a couple of weeks ago. Las Vegas, Nevada. In case you're uh, thinking it might be Las Vegas, uh, New Mexico. Uh, this is an event you won't want to miss. You go to BitcoinInvestor.com to get your early bird tickets. Prices are reduced right now. BitcoinInvestor.com. And uh, yep, I I'm really excited about it. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. And we're heading out there. So we're going to be doing the show without you, Ian. So I was asking the question, uh, who is John McAfee? Apparently that's how it's pronounced. McAfee, uh, the guy who was involved in creating an antivirus software program that you might actually run on your computer, although apparently he recommends people uninstall it. There's some sort of video that Jeff Berwick plays at the beginning of his interview with John McAfee on Anarchast. And I, having been on Anarchast before as a guest, I know that the first question Jeff Berwick asks anybody on the show is, how did you become an anarchist? Now, of course, when he asked me that question, I told him I'm not an anarchist. I'm a voluntarist. And then we talked about that a little bit. So I did I'm, the same thing. I'm wondering what John McAfee's answer to that question is going to be. We'll play the uh, that portion of the interview here in a moment since John McAfee has now thrown his hat into the ring as a uh, presidential candidate. But first, to the phones in the fun, we got Doug on the line in Chicago. Doug, you're on Free Talk Live with Ian Rich, Paul, and Mark. Yeah, hi. You were talking a minute ago about how difficult it can be when you're a third-party candidate and independent trying to get on a ballot. Yes. And here in Illinois, when we had the uh, election for governor, you had to go around and you had to do a petition. And to begin with, when you're a Democrat and Republican, you have to reach a particular number on the petition in order to get on the ballot. Mm -hmm. But if you're a member of the Green Party, the Libertarian Party, and independent, you have to have a much, much higher threshold, a much higher yep. number to be able to get on the ballot. Well, we had a guy here named uh, Chad Grimm, who had been running under the Libertarian ticket, and he did meet that threshold. And what ended up happening, I don't know if you heard about it. You he did meet the threshold, you say? You. He did. Okay. He actually did. You can you can look into it, everything that I'm telling you here, and verify it. Um, they had people from the GOP, the Republican Party, that were going door to door and threatening the people with a gun the people that put their name on the petition for Tom Grimm or for Chad Grimm. Whoa. And you didn't really, you really didn't hear that much about it. They, they claimed that they were going door to door, making sure that the people that were doing it were actually verifiable. Um, but they were pretty much intimidating them and threatening them. That can be how when you say they had a gun, do you mean they were wearing a gun or they were brandishing a gun? This is they were, Illinois. According to, the, according to, yeah, according to everything I read, they were wearing a gun. They were, they were identified to be a PI and that they were working for the GOP. You can go online and verify everything that I'm telling you. Wow. It didn't get much traction. But, um, yeah, that can be how far they're willing to take it. You know what I mean? They're 
they really are one party, the Democratic and Republican Party. So They're when this out. dude got on the ballot, how long ago was this? I, I forget when we had the election for governor. It had to be under a year ago. Um, how did had, he do? How had, does a libertarian uh, gubernatorial candidate uh, perform in Illinois? Um, not too good. Not too good. Um, 1%? It really can be shocking. 2%? I think. I'm, I'm not sure to tell you the truth. I really am not. <laughs> Unmemorable. I, I it was so bad you've yeah. wiped it from your memory. Yeah, I voted for him. I know that. But it had been uh, Quinn and Rauner, and Rauner ended up winning. And, uh, yeah, but they pretty much intimidated people. That can be what wow. they did. You know I mean? If, if, if I were that type of individual and I had a guy come out of my property with a gun in my front door, you know, I'd be like, get the hell off my property, right? You know, I'd brainish a gun. You know, I mean, that, that can be total intimidation. That should be the type oh, of thing absolutely. That the federal government should be getting involved with. You know? Can you but, even carry, I mean, is it because he was a PI that he could open carry, or is that something you can do in Illinois? It seems unlikely to me. No, we're very anti-gun here. You can't open carry. So the PI I mean, was uh, doing it illegally, or is it that he's a PI and so he has his, like a special permission slip in order to do that? Right. I think with him being a PI, he had been allowed to, to carry a gun. Interesting. But, yeah. Most PIs are I'm, retired I'm law that, enforcement. That's that's a good point as well. I'm shocked that you never heard about that, that you never covered that. You never heard about that on the show? No, I man. Mean, it, You're it the first time I've heard about it. Well, it went all around the libertarian arena, but if you Google it, you'll be able to find out more information. Hey, about thanks, it. Doug, for the call tonight, man. I appreciate hearing from you, and you got to get out of uh, Illinois one of these days. You can hopefully get to oh, New I Hampshire. I definitely am. Hey, thanks for the call. 855-450-FREE. If you love freedom, you got to get to New Hampshire. you got to start making plans to uh, join the Free State Project. You can actually join the Free State Project right now over at freestateproject.org and gather together with what will hopefully be as many as 20,000 people. It's probably not going to be that many, but that's how many signatures that we want to get of people pledging to move to New Hampshire and get active for liberty here so we can concentrate our activism. And that has been a proven success. It's working. You know, um, he was talking about the Republican and Democrats being one party, and it seems to me that everything I hear him talking about, they disagree with each other on. But one thing they certainly agree on is is that there shouldn't be a third party. Oh, yeah. And I think the Republicans, and it's interesting to me that there was Republicans going around. His claim is it was Republicans going around doing this because I think the Republicans kind of consider the libertarians to be stealing votes from them, and the Democrats believe that the Greens are stealing votes from them. Right. So, you know, it's uh, it's it's interesting there. George uh, Bush Sr. believes that uh, that Ross in the absence of Ross Perot, which obviously he ran independent, not libertarian or, or green. That's correct. Um, that he would have won the presidency. Uh, was it, he reform party back then? Yes. Yeah, he was, he was in. A, he founded the reform party. That's what I thought. So not technically independent. There was another party involved in that. OK, fine. A party that no longer exists. No, they're still around. They still they exist. Split. In some places, they're called something else. That's because they had a split uh, several years ago. I don't remember which election it was, but there was some sort of a falling out and inter- internal strife among the party, as, as these things tend to happen. In these was it third- when they nominated Jesse Ventura? Is that what? God, I don't remember, Rich. I don't remember what it was. Yeah. I, if I, were I remember here, it would, happening, but know. I don't remember why it happened. Didn't they split into the like the Natural Law Party or something like that? No, no I think the Natural, Natural Law, Law Party is an old... Old party, they've existed for a long time, and their whole shtick is based on transcendental meditation. Yeah, well, you know, it's probably a better approach than the. Well, it's better than sticking guns in people's faces. I mean, I like them better than Republicans and the Democrats. (laughs) So, uh, who is John McAfee? I had asked that on the air without even realizing at the time that that's actually apparently what his website is. When you look up John McAfee, the guy who is now running for uh, president, and you Google his name, uh, his site is who is McAfee or McAfee.com. It's spelled M C A F E E. Who is M C A F E E.com. On that front page. I wonder page, if that's a play on who is John Galt. It could very well be. We will find out what his uh, answer to Jeff Berwick's first question to him in an interview, which is. How did you become an anarchist? We'll play that for you coming up here in moments. And actually, I haven't listened to it yet, so hopefully I don't have to use my dump button on it. (laughs) It is an internet show. Uh, 855-450-FREE. Your thoughts on John McAfee or whatever you want. Free Talk Live. My name's Clyde, age 59, and I reside in Florence, South Carolina. The doctors diagnosed me as having clogged arteries. Felt like I was carrying heavy concrete blocks around my feet and legs. 
I started taking heart and body extract as directed. It is less than three weeks and I'm like a young man again. It's unbelievable that an herbal formula can work so fast and so powerfully. Learn the secrets of an effective, natural, 100% organic nutritional supplement for a healthy heart and circulation at hbextract.com. <laughs> no way. Is that a real bullet necklace? No, it's a 9 millimeter bullet necklace with matching earrings, you'll notice. Those are awesome. Where'd you get them? Dave found them at PatriotNecklace.com. Wow. They have a variety of calibers and necklaces and earrings and keychains. PatriotNecklace.com? PatriotNecklace.com. Your choice of caliber bullet includes a rugged American-made stainless steel dog tag chain. A percentage of every sale goes to military and service-related charities. And get a discount by entering GCN at checkout. Show your patriotism and support our troops with a bullet necklace from PatriotNecklace.com. Sciatica, lower back pain, hip pain, poor posture. If you suffer from any of these problems, get ready to relax. Introducing an amazing product that's been in the market for over 25 years, the Sacro Wedgie. It was invented by a football coach using a common sense osteopath technique. He created this device to help his athletes by isolating and supporting the sacrum, which is the keystone of our anatomy. This wedge-shaped bone is in the center of our hips, where a lot of pain starts. Simply relax 20 minutes daily on the amazingly simple Sacro Wedgie and let gravity do the work this month because the NSA and the DHS won't let him so he's a very very interesting guy so let's get right to it John how did you become an anarchist I, I was born an anarchist I uh, I, I, um, I felt even at an early age uh, responsible for myself and, and for the result my actions and and felt like uh, intrusions into what seemed a a natural tendency to freedom uh, were both invasive, uh, unpleasant, and unnecessary. Absolutely. I totally agree, of course. Uh, you know, you're doing so many things. You have uh, you start up so many companies. You're very active. Uh, your most recent that I know of is Decentral One, which I know a lot of people use. Um, but let's ask you a little bit about some of your past. Uh, let's, let's start with what happened in, Guatem in, uh, in Belize. Well, in Belize, I, I, I thought I had retired. I was... Um, 64 years old, I, um, I felt it was time. Uh, Belize has the longest barrier reef in the world. I'm an avid fisherman and, and scuba diver. Um, I moved there, it was, it was heaven on earth in terms of the geography. Uh, beautiful shoreline, uh, spectacular interior jungles and rivers. Um, uh, it, was, it was indeed heaven. Uh, I totally ignored the political um, cultural uh, economic situation in Belize, which is one of a virtual dictatorship in spite of its being called a, a democracy. Um, if, if living in, in Acapulco, you have a, a small taste of that. Mexico has its fair share of corruption, uh, nothing like Central America with, uh, with Belize and Guatemala and El Salvador, where the uh, uh, disruption is constant and the, the, the danger is ever present. I lived for the first three years on the island of San Pedro, which is an American enclave. It's, it's much like America, you know, the 90% uh, uh, of, of the population is American. Um, and, and so I thought, gosh, this is great, Belize is wonderful. Um, after I'd been there for three years, I, I, I bought a, a place in the jungle on a river and built a compound, a beautiful compound, to, to study uh, the, the plant. An anarchist. I, I was born in... 76. This is Free Talk Live. Call in toll free. 855 450 free. That's 855 450 free. This is Free Talk Live. You may join us here on the radio at 855 450 free. Your thoughts welcome on John McAfee throwing his hat in the ring for the U.S. presidential contest and saying he's going to form a new political party, calling the Cyber Party, which may be a really brilliant move. We can talk about that here in a moment, although there's some downsides uh, as well. But there's actually an episode of Anarchast with Jeff Berwick, uh, episode 193 where he features John McAfee, and I think that's a, probably a pretty good sign that this guy might be actually worth libertarians seriously considering as a, uh, as a possible candidate. So, Because right now, there's no libertarians uh, yet officially, uh, I guess, 
knighted for this cause, right? I mean, our very own Daryl W. Perry is going to throw in into the Libertarian Party's contest, but that won't be decided until sometime next year, whenever it is that they have their uh, their party convention. So uh, we'll talk more about John McAfee. You can share your thoughts, 855-450-FREE. We also have Skype. Our Skype username is lrn.fm. Now, Bitcoinist is the prime online destination for information about Bitcoin and the digital currency industry. At Bitcoinist.net, they've got a community forum, breaking Bitcoin and digital currency news. Plus, they're covering fintech and blockchain tech news as well. And Bitcoinist has very sophisticated network statistics, a beginner's guide to Bitcoin that is solid, and much more. The Bitcoinist platform serves the needs of everyone looking to keep up with Bitcoin and digital currencies from beginners to experts. Go to Bitcoinist.net. That's Bitcoin, I-S-T, dot net. Uh, so here is, we're about five minutes into Anarchast, episode 193. I skipped past the first five minutes. Uh, the first five minutes is some sort of video that Jeff plays uh, that was produced by John McAfee, where he talks about recommending people uninstall the McAfee antivirus software. And I'm not sure why that is. I, I haven't watched that part of the video. I wanted to skip ahead to what I knew would be Jeff's first question of John, which is, how did you become an anarchist? So we'll let John McAfee answer that here as we continue. Ian, Rich, and Mark in the studio here on Free Talk Live. So as you can see, amazing video. The, one of my favorites, I've probably watched it like 10 or 20 times. Uh, he's done so many things. He's been in Belize. He got into some sort of problem there. He had to escape to Guatemala. He had to fake a heart attack to get out of there. He's now back in the U.S. And he says he can't come to Narcopoco at the end of this month because the NSA and the DHS won't let him. So he's a very, very interesting guy. So let's get right to it, John. How did you become an anarchist? I, I was born an anarchist. I, uh, I, I, um, I felt even at an early age, uh, responsible for myself and, and for the results of my actions and, and felt like uh, intrusions into what seemed a, a natural tendency to freedom uh, were both invasive, uh, unpleasant, and unnecessary. There you go. That's his answer to the question of how he became an anarchist. He did not rebut the term in any way, shape, or form. And uh, what do you think, Rich Paul? Uh, good answer? Good answer. Yeah, does he have your vote? Uh, not necessarily, but quite possibly. Oh, I'd say he's the leading candidate at the moment for me. I've got to say that his forming his own party is problematical for me because that means that uh, he's going to be splitting the libertarian anarchist vote with whoever the libertarian candidate well, is. Now, wait a minute. Okay, so here's the other side of that. The libertarians could still nominate him. The liber If the libertarians nominated him, then he would absolutely get my vote. So I think this is interesting. Otherwise, it would be a question of do I think the libertarians are going to do better or do I think he's going to do better uh, in terms yeah. of party? Obviously, he's a libertarian as well. Right. So in the small L sense. So on the positive side, he's founding a new party called the Cyber Party. And the good side of that is that it's new. It doesn't have the baggage the libertarians have. It could get a new group of people excited, sort of like the Pirate Party did in, I think it's uh, the Netherlands. Sweden. It Sweden? Uh, so, yeah, up in some of those countries, they have the Pirate Party. And that got people pretty riled up and excited. And th th that's still a thing, right? Like the Pirate Party's still there. So, you know, maybe this Cyber Party is something that could get a bunch of people who are, would otherwise be not so interested in libertarian politics into this guy's campaign. Yeah, it's all he has to do is if um, is is jump the hurdles of getting on the ballot, and it's not impossible, especially for somebody who has some money. If you've got money and you've got support, you can get on the ballot. Uh, it's getting that support that's going to be the tricky part. Now, the cyber party may indeed excite the members of Anonymous and various different people online who think that this is a really cool idea to troll the you know the other candidates with or whatever, and that's fine. But does that translate into real? On the streets activism, I don't know about that. I, I don't know if, you know, the keyboard warriors are going to come out from behind the keyboard and actually start doing some petitioning or whatever it is that they have to do to get him on the ballot in various different states. So here's my question for you, Ian. Are you going to, um, knowing that splitting the vote is a terrible thing, are you going to ask Daryl to rescind his uh, presidential run so that McAfee uh, doesn't split the libertarian vote in this way? 
Well, no, uh, because Daryl is going to be competing with other candidates in the Libertarian Party to get the Libertarian Party's nod. Oh, I so see. So Daryl is not yet the Libertarian Party's selectee. So Daryl won't run as an independent. He's just running as a, a, a he's, he's sort of running within the Libertarian Party for their nomination. That's that correct. Doesn't, it doesn't have anything to do with anybody who is not a nominee for the Libertarian Party. Is that what the term is, nominee or delegate? or what? Delegate. I think that, nominee is probably right. Yeah. Well, it's a candidate for the, for right. the nomination. I am running as a a super communist. So um, I'm really, I'm not going to split the vote in that way. So uh, anyway, so the, the, the good side of the cyber party is the idea that he's going to likely energize new people. I like that. The bad side is all those new people. The problem with the newbies is they have no experience. They have no political experience. They have no ability to know what the rules are about how one gets on the ballot in the state in which they live. And they are going to be clueless. He needs to, you know, what he ought to do is he ought to hire Daryl to uh, to run his campaign for him because Daryl, our uh, Thursday night co-host here on Free Talk Live, is like a wizard with these third party campaigns. Daryl is the most knowledgeable person on third-party campaigns I've, I have ever met. He has oh, yeah. more, more knowledge about third-party campaigns in, you know, in his brain than I think every libertarian I've ever met combined. So, uh, so what he really needs to do, what McAfee needs to do to have a successful campaign beyond having money, that's helpful, uh, and beyond having a new political party, is really he should seek the libertarian party's nod. Keep building the cyber party at the same time. Go ahead and do that and get people excited about that. But then get the Libertarian Party to, you know, throw your hat into the ring in the Libertarian Party. Go to the Libertarian Party's convention and, and you know, clean the floor with somebody like Gary Johnson. And See, then uh, Jerry Johnson, Gary Johnson's my guy. Um, he's not point. a libertarian, unfortunately. He's a nice guy. We've had him in the studio and have talked to him a couple of times. Uh, but he's not a, not a real true libertarian. And I don't know if McAfee is either. But the fact that he didn't just rebut the idea that he's an anarchist, I think, is a, is a pretty good sign for this guy. So you you go to the libertarian convention. You clean the floor with whoever's there competing. You win the nomination there. Then you have the libertarian party behind you and their organization of being able to actually get somebody on a ballot. They have experience. They've got decades of experience at doing this. And uh, and that that could be a possibility for him if he's really serious about this and this isn't just trolling uh, to, you know, to get attention for himself or whatever. And I don't know John McAfee, so I don't know what his his motivations are here. But that to me would be the best uh, possible solution for him here. But it'll be interesting to watch this and see how it all plays out with uh, John McAfee. And there's another, by the way, this Anarchast video that I just played about a minute of it for you here. There's another 30 minutes in the video of him being interviewed by Jeff Berwick, and I imagine that would also be very interesting to you know give some uh, look into this man's mind and, and what he believes and you know flesh that out a little bit. So you can check out his website. It is who is McAfee or McAfee, McAfee. rather. Yeah, I think even though it's pronounced McAfee, <laughs> it doesn't have an A in it. It's M C A F E E. Anyway, who is McAfee.com is his website. Whether that will end up being his campaign site or not remains to be seen. There isn't really much of a mention of his campaign on the site there at this time. So share your thoughts. What do you know about John McAfee? Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Vermin Supreme still has my vote for the presidential primary in the Democratic race if he decides to throw in there, as I suspect he will. Uh, but I got to say, John Mac McAfee's looking like the best option at the moment for the national final contest in 2016. It's Free Talk Live. What do you think? For P-150, P-150GA, P-150OK, P-150TN, C-250A, C-250E, C-250Q. Not available in all states. What's the scariest thing about going to the dentist? Opening your mouth or opening your wallet? Because just a simple cleaning can cost $100, and things like root canals can cost you hundreds more. If you don't have dental insurance to help, call Physicians Mutual Insurance Company, 1-800-809-5580. This isn't a discount plan or preventive-only coverage. This is real dental insurance that helps pay for checkups right away, so you can call today and get your teeth cleaned tomorrow. Plus, it helps cover the more expensive procedures you might need down the road. Fillings, crowns, bridges, even costly dentures. There's no deductible and no annual maximum. 
Your acceptance is guaranteed for one of these insurance policies, even if you're retired. There are no networks, so you can choose any dentist you'd like. Call in the next 10 minutes and we'll rush you a free information kit with all the details. 1-800-809-5580. That's 1-800-809-5580. 1-800-809-5580. Okay, open your mouth and say, ah. Uh. When your child has a sore throat, you need to know when to get help. The doctor recommended Say Ah Sore Throat Exam is your solution. The scientifically designed oral retractor offers a clear view of the throat, relaxing the tongue and minimizing gag reflex. Compare with a medical grade chart, website, and app. Then you'll know just what to tell your doctor. A wellness plan in your hands in minutes. Go to sayahnow.com. Sayahnow.com, the new mainstay for every family's first aid kit. Hunters, anglers, campers, and survivalists. Get back to nature. Expand your horizons with the highest quality, most versatile, unique slingshots and sling bows on the market at slingbow.com. Slingbow products are compact and models start from just $17.98. They're perfect for your bug out bag or storing in your vehicle. Give yourself and your loved ones the excitement and tradition of Slingbow. A new frontier in archery and truly modern twist on this primitive survival tool. Feel the thrill only at slingbow.com. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? They've been available since 1986, yet the financial industry won't recognize the value of gold for your retirement. Gold has outperformed paper investments, yet no word about IRAs. If you would like to have gold for your retirement, call 800-686-2237. Don't get left behind by rising inflation and low returns. Call 800-686-2237. Secure your future and call 1-800-686-2237. Does being over 40 make you feel like half the man you used to be? Do you feel more tired, out of shape, not in the mood like you used to be? Thanks to an exclusive formula, you can help boost testosterone levels safely and naturally. Introducing Ageless Male, a life-changing supplement for men tested to help increase testosterone levels. You'll notice a boost in your energy levels, workouts work. And Lincoln's Gettysburg Address, Text of agonizing beauty is fast approaching and Lincoln's Gettysburg Address. And Lincoln's Gettysburg Address of America's Declaration Authors of America Authors of America's Declaration of Independence and Lincoln's Gettysburg Address, text of agonizing beauty in the face of... Hello, Brad? Brad? Aaron, are you there? Yeah, sorry. All right, stand by. Zero. Again, that's 800-287-7180. 800-287-7180. You're listening to Free Talk Live. Call in toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-FREE. This is Free Talk Live. Turns out John McAfee does have a campaign site already. I uh, just found it through the Wired article about him. McAfee, or McAfee rather, 16.com is his campaign site. All these got there is a link to Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and a video, about a four-minute long video, which I presume is his first campaign statement announcing the campaign, but I haven't had a chance to check that out. You can join us here on the Radio Waves and talk about whatever's on your mind. Our number is 855 855- 450 free joining you in the studio tonight you've got me ian rich paul and mark and of course you can uh, check out more of rich paul at his church of the invisible hand rich uh tell me a little bit about the church well the church is an agnostic form of deism we don't claim to know whether or not there's a god but what we believe is that if there is a god he doesn't commit uh miracles within the uh within the universe we believe that the universe is uh, is governed by natural law, and that understanding and going with those laws is the best way to lead a good life, because nature to be commanded must be obeyed. But isn't that in and of itself a miracle? Um, I mean, it's all a miracle. 
well, if if it's woven into the creation of the universe, then it's a miracle behind the event horizon. You can't see anything back behind the Big Bang. So it may be there, but it would be outside of our universe. Check out more about the Church of the Invisible Hand. Uh, you actually performed your first marriage recently. Ah, uh, yes. Here in Keene. They're still married. We've got 100% success rate yep. so far. <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> it's true. It's uh, funny. And they even got the official government paperwork to prove it as well. So uh, it's a good start to the Church of the Invisible Hand. Find it on Facebook. That's, uh, I think, the only current presence that you have on uh, right? Yeah, I've just brought the uh, server up Um that will eventually house the Church of the Invisible Hand, but right now I'm, I'm starting with a revamp of the 420 at 420.org. Excellent. And you're planning a big 420 celebration for next year. We can talk about that another time. So check out uh, Rich, more of him at the Church of the Invisible Hand. As we go to your phone calls and thoughts, and then more about John McAfee. Who is this guy? Uh, let's go to Aaron on the line in uh, Philly. Aaron, you're on Free Talk Live via Skype. Hey guys, how are you doing tonight? Hey, what's on your mind, Aaron? I was listening the other night about uh, this same-sex marriage thing in Kentucky. Uh, for Kim Davis. Yeah, the and, clerk. The clerk who was put in jail uh, and just recently released. Yeah, and Mark had said that he felt that contract law had some relevance here concerning whether or not she should have to issue these contracts between people. Yeah. And I feel... I. Uh, I don't see the relevance there because the contract that's issued within the state of Kentucky is not the same contract that's issued in other places or license, I guess. It's almost like saying that the people in Vermont, the clerk should have to issue marriage license or conceal carry licenses because another state has them. If you don't need the license in your state, then you don't need it. Does well, that make sense? I suppose. Um, so what I'm saying is, is though, let me let, let's backtrack. So what I'm saying is, is that the state of Kentucky and the people in the state of uh, Kentucky would, uh, at least the state of Kentucky, would not be able to do anything that was sort of contrary to a marriage license that was, um, uh, you know, issued in another state. Right. B but um, what they'll, you know, what states that choose not to rec recognize gay marriage do is do everything they can to not recognize the contract that is um, issued in other states while they choose to recognize the contract that is issued in those same states for heterosexual couples. And that's what I consider to be the sort of the problem with uh, with contract law and the contract clause in the Constitution. Well, you would agree that someone who has a, a barber, who's a barber, doesn't need a, uh, a license to manicure nails necessarily. So if there's certain people that the state says fall under a criteria that qualifies for a certain license then they could, at their leisure, discriminate against any other people who do not qualify for that license. So you're saying because um, the somebody's given a barber's license in Vermont doesn't mean that they would be able to operate in Kentucky? Yes. I mean, we do that all the time. Yeah, I, I, I get that. But I mean, that's it's sort of a, is a career. And I don't think that uh, states should be licensing people anyway, but um, in, that, in that way, as far as barbers go. But I mean, you know, it's... A bar. I'd say it's some difference. You're not acting to asking to practice marriage in their state. What you're saying is, is you're acknowledging, look, we got married here, and you people should recognize that. I don't think that there's anything in Kentucky where they're trying to not recognize the contract between these people in another state. If the person died there, they would have inheritance and everything. I don't see them they not would? recognizing that under federal law now. I guess. Well, Kentucky is breaking federal law, isn't that kind of well, this, this why one they woman. put that chicken in jail? So, so that, well, one thing you guys didn't mention is that there's three counties, actually, that aren't issuing licenses. Only this one woman got raked over the coals by the judge in that area. And I didn't advocate for that raking over the coals. <laughs> I think right, she right. should have been removed from office for refusing to do her job. Agreed. I think the reason they're not removing her from office, though, is because the people of Kentucky have spoken by way of constitutional amendment within their state to not allow same-sex marriages. Oh, really? They have that there? Yes. There's so, actually so so there's an uh, there's an actual amendment to the Constitution prohibiting same-sex marriage. Yet the federal government forced it down on them from from on high. Yes. Interesting. So if they put her up for re-election, like if they did a recall vote. In all likelihood, her county would just re-elect her because the majority mm -hmm. of the people don't want same-sex marriage. 
a good point. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, uh, it seems it seems like um, let's. I'm, I'm trying to figure out how contact contract law um, applies in this circumstance because she won't issue the contract. It's not that she won't recognize the contract um, issued by another place. It's mm-hmm. that she won't issue it um, in and of itself. But her deputy clerk is doing that. So yeah. uh, there, you can now get a marriage uh, license from that same clerk's office so long as you deal with another clerk. So what I read is five out of the six deputy clerks are issuing them. Some apparently someone else there has also had a conscience with her as well. Gotcha. Yeah. But, well, um, you know, they've obviously the uh, the the state the the the, the state is going to get its way, and by by the state I mean the federal government in this circumstance is going to get its way. It's right. it's interesting because the state constitution does conflict with the uh, First Amendment. Uh, because Christians may define marriage as being between a man and a woman, but at the Church of the Invisible Hand, we define marriage as being between any group of consulting, consenting adults <laughs> that cares to form a family. So why is it that Christian marriage is respected and Invisible Hand marriage is not? That's what I would like to know. It's the, it's the license of the state of Kentucky, and the state of Kentucky has decided that their government license recognizes a particular type of marriage. It's not the Christian marriage, but the people who voted within Kentucky, the elected state people, mm. that made this state marriage that qualifies that way. Well, it, no matter it how... to coincide with that marriage. Yeah. I don't know. No matter how they vote, the First Amendment says that the government is not going to get in the way of our free exercise of religion, and that includes getting married if that's if that's part of what you uh, what you do in well, my opinion luckily rich we don't have to deal with this issue here in new hampshire because here in new hampshire gay marriage was passed by the legislature the first so. state yeah. in the union to pass it by the legislature that's correct aaron thanks for sharing your call and thoughts with us here tonight on skype by the way sounded good uh, you can call us up on skype as well skype username here is lrn.fm so don't hesitate to reach out to us in that way if you can, uh, we're going to continue here more on John McAfee. Who is this guy? I, you know, I'd heard the name. I knew there was this thing in Belize that he had some sort of issue down there where apparently he had to fake a heart attack to escape. And, and now he's been on Jeff Berwick's Anarchast. We played a little clip of that. It's a half hour long interview. I'll put the full, uh, I think I actually have put the full one on our Facebook page. Yep. I did put that up there. So Facebook and Twitter, if you want to see that whole thing later on, you can go and do that. Uh, You can go to news.freetalklive.com, and that'll link you right over to our Facebook and Twitter. So I want to learn more about John McAfee. He's got an intro video on his website, mcafee16.com. His actual website is whoismcafee.com as well. And now Wired Magazine has a piece here updated this morning, several hours after the story published, John McAfee has filed paperwork with the Federal Elections Commission to run for president, and he launched a campaign website. If you didn't think the 2016 election season could get any more bat s crazy than it already is, now John McAfee, the self-described eccentric millionaire who founded the antivirus software company McAfee and who once played Russian roulette with a loaded gun while Wired writer Joshua Davis stood by, says he is considered considering joining the 2016 presidential race. But he says... First, he's hoping to persuade someone who is smarter and more charismatic than he is to run with his backing. McAfee tells Wired, quote, I personally am still in a quandary about whether to run myself or find someone else for my party. My advisors are pressing me to run. We can talk more about McAfee here in moments, and you can join us with your thoughts as well. What do you know about John McAfee? You're welcome to share them. Uh, share your thoughts here at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733+. Plus. We've also got Skype. Skype in at username lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. If worse comes to worst, will you be prepared? You don't have to be a survivalist to prepare for the unexpected. Storing necessary supplies like food, water, and emergency equipment is simply taking responsibility for ourselves and our families when it counts the most. StrategicShelters.com offers emergency supplies and a secure way to store them and provides protection for loved ones in the event of an extreme natural or man-made disaster. To find out more, visit strategicshelters.com. Gary, why aren't you outside enjoying the party? Uh, Hey, Michelle, it's this heartburn. When it hits, it really hits hard. Oh, I'm sorry. That's it. I've had it. I'm going to kick acid with Rolaids. Rolaids Advanced goes to work instantly for powerful relief of your worst heartburn, bloating, and gas. 
Wow, you're back fast. Yeah, I feel much better. Now this is a party. Kick acid and gas with Rolaids Advanced. As if chlorine in our water weren't bad enough, now they're adding ammonia? It's true. Some municipalities are now adding ammonia plus chlorine to your water supply. It's a disinfectant called chloramine. But with a trusted Big Berkey water filter, you can keep chloramine out of your water. New NSF EPA certified lab tests show EPA Berkey water filters remove chloramines, pharmaceuticals, BPA, pesticides, bacteria and viruses, all forms of fluoride, and much more. Big Berkey water filters are the original and most trusted on the market. The gold standard in water purification. And our filters last for years at less than two cents per gallon. Big Berkey, the one that's powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. Get your Big Berkey today. Call 1-877-99-BERKEY or click BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. That's 1-877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey Water Filters, for the love of clean water. You're listening to GCN, the world leader in independent talk radio. Breaking news this hour from townhall.com. I'm Keith Peters. The State Department has failed to turn over nearly 70 pages of documents as instructed by a federal judge to the Associated Press. The department provided only seven pages of emails to the AP. The AP wants information about Democratic presidential candidate Hillary Rodham Clinton's hiring of longtime aide Huma Abedin. Today's harsh realities could not have anticipated a world in which spy cameras are hidden in cactuses. Asking a federal judge to delay releasing thousands of pages of documents from Clinton's stint as Secretary of State until January of 2016. It is near certain Dennis Crowley, the face of today's harsh realities could not have anticipated a world in which spy cameras are hidden in cactuses. The government surreptitiously parses our verbal communications, and the concept of privacy is fast approaching extinction. They could not have anticipated a world in which information is the prime commodity of exchange at the expense of grace, compassion, solitude, and the remaining fragile components of the besieged human heart. What they did anticipate is that governments, no matter how powerful, will always hunger for more power and that power inevitably corrupts. Governments are composed of human beings and all of the frailties that humans possess are absorbed into those governments and become active within these governments. Hatred, anger, jealousy, fear, greed, distrust, and the whole host of afflictions that humans must bear lurk just beneath the surface of civility displayed by government. When individuals become angry with one another, an injury of some sort will likely occur. When governments become angry, entire civilizations are wiped out. When individuals become greedy, they are no longer invited to dinner. When governments become greedy, starvation afflicts the weaker nations. When people become fearful, other people avoid them. When governments become fearful, the populace is included among those elements that the government fears, and the populace has nowhere to go. These truths are self-evident to anyone who cares to look with the right kind of eyes. More than 200 years ago, a document called the Declaration of Independence was penned by some of the greatest minds in the history of civilization. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that people are endowed with certain unalienable rights, that among these rights are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, that to secure these rights, governments are instituted among people, deriving their just powers from the consent of the governed, that whenever any form of government becomes destructive of these ends, it is the right of the people to alter or abolish it. A scant fourscore and seven years after these words were written, a gaunt President Lincoln stepped onto one of the bloodiest battlefields in human history to admonish his current and all future generations to bear the responsibility of we, the governed. He said, we must now dedicate ourselves to the great task remaining before us, that from these honored dead we take increased devotion to that cause for which they gave the last full measure of devotion, that we hear highly resolved that these dead shall not have died in vain, 
that this nation shall have a new birth of freedom and that government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from the earth. I live in a country that has passed so many laws that at an average reading speed, it would take me 600 years to read, reading 24 hours a day. I'm protected by a government that invades my privacy so that it can assure me that I am not the enemy it is protecting me from. I live in a country that is governed by people largely illiterate in cybersecurity, as proven by the multiple government computer hacks. Yet cyber warfare is now the means of war. My government is dysfunctional. For the 300 million other Americans, you are in the same boat with me. So stand with me to protect our freedom. Visit McAfee16.com. It is near. It is near certain. That sixty percent water. Your brain and muscles are seventy-five percent water, and your blood is ninety-two percent water. Water is vital to your body, and alkalizing your water is the key to keep it running at its best. AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops keep your entire body healthy, boosts energy, promotes weight loss, and even fights cancer. Call 800-518-7615 or go to AlkaVision.com to find out more. That's A-L-K-A-Vision.com. We use mobile devices right against our bodies every day, but growing scientific evidence has emerged showing serious health risks associated with exposure to EMF radiation emitted from these devices. The solution is Defender Shield, the most effective mobile radiation shielding ever developed. Defender Shield blocks virtually 100% of EMF radiation from cell phones, tablets, and laptops and starts at just $64.99. Buy now at DefenderShield.com. For 10% off, use promo code GCN. DefenderShield.com, the worldwide leader in mobile radiation shielding. Live. This is Free Talk Live, and you may join us here on the toll-free lines, 855-450-FREE. Looking for your impressions on John McAfee. Yeah, that's right. The same McAfee that you might have as antivirus software or might have had at some point in your life. Uh, apparently yeah, he's turned against his own. I don't think they do as much own. of it anymore. They're not as integrated as they used to be because I don't see it as much. But I still see me. it here and there. Apparently he's turned against his own software, though, so I'm not sure what oh, the, the back and behind the scenes story is there. He's uh, certainly a character, that fella. Yeah, McAfee's running for president. He just announced this yesterday. Uh, there's news over at Wired.com. We'll continue with that. And then I've actually got McAfee's intro video that is on his website, his campaign site, McAfee16.com. With you in the studio tonight, you've got me, Ian. Rich Paul. And Mark. Let's go to the phones first, though. we got John listening in Carson City, Nevada. You're on Free Talk Live. Hello, John. Hi. Um, I don't understand the argument that Mark is making that uh, Kim Davis is preventing people from contracting because it doesn't seem to me that legal marriage is much of a contract. It's far more of a legal status. I mean, what has Mark specifically contracted for with his wife through legal marriage? Well, when you contract through legal marriage, what you do is you take a sort of pre-set prescription of, uh, you know, like like it's like a cookie cutter contract, essentially. We all have a general idea of what it looks like. The rules are laid out in the statutes. Right. Whereas uh, one could... Uh, completely pliable. The rules can change at any time and have nothing to do what, with what you two parties want. Yeah, that's true. That's, that much is true, but that's I don't one think of the problems that, with are it. Are they particularly pliable? How are they pliable? Well, the government can change the rules at any time. They could, but they generally don't. Uh, they well, do on things like divorce and, uh, and uh, well, you know, it, property settlements. That as long as I've thing. been alive, the guy gets screwed and divorced. That's the rule. Uh well, he can get screwed in many different ways in many different jurisdictions, uh, and women can be screwed also in divorces. I'm, I'm just talking about percentages. Sure. 
Well, right. I mean, that's why it's a terrible contract, because you're entering into a contract with three parties. You're entering into a contract with a person who you love and then the state, who is not a very loving uh, entity. And they are the dominating uh, force in that particular contract. Well, sometimes so. it'll be great for you as a as a person who's entering into the contract because you know you can use the the cudgel of the state to get what you want um, at, in divorce time. And mm -hmm. uh, sometimes uh, sometimes it's not so great. It's not always great for the the man or the woman in each circumstances, but sometimes it is. Okay. Well, I'm all for free contract, but. That doesn't sound to me anything like free contract. So no, not at all. It's a cookie cutter contract. It's a different category. It's a terrible contract, but it is still a contract. I think it's a fine institution for those who need an institution. <laughs> <laughs> John, anything else you want to share? Uh, no, that was my point. Thanks. Thanks, Thanks for the call tonight. Appreciate hearing from you, John. Other John, John McAfee, uh, on his website, his new campaign site. McAfee16.com. Now, I'd said earlier that all he had was a Facebook and Twitter, but that's because I have my no script on and I was blocking the, the real features of the site. So he actually has a uh, how to vote link, a donate link, a volunteer link, press inquiry link. And I will be inquiring, by the way, about how to possibly talk to this guy because I got to say, I mean, I don't know much about John McAfee, but in the little that I've learned here, and you've basically heard me learning about him on the air. Uh, the little I've learned, I gotta say, I like what this guy has to say. He seems to be a relatively liberty-friendly guy. He did not rebuff Jeff Berwick when he asked him how he became an anarchist. He embraced the question. He answered it very well. And so I want to tell you a little bit more about him. This is from well, his website. Says technology, privacy, freedom. That's all I need. Yeah. <laughs> uh, McAfee, who won't name his advisors or his prospects for stand-ins. This is from Wired Magazine says he's been mulling a run for some time at the urging of his online followers. He says, I have many thousands of emails saying, please run for president. It's not something I would just choose to do on my own. But McAfee says he does believe government is broken, largely because its leaders don't understand technology as well as, well, he does. He points to the recent hacks of the U.S. Office of Personnel Management and Homeland Security as proof. He says things like this cannot happen or should not happen. It's clear that the leadership of our country is illiterate on the fundamental technology that supports everything in life for us now. That is, cyber science, our smartphones, military hardware, and our communications. McAfee argues that the fact that the government is urging tech companies like Apple to create so-called backdoors into their systems that would allow government to collect information on users is another sign that public servants just don't get it. He said, quote, that means allowing hackers easy access to anybody's data. The prospect of a president John McAfee may sound absurd to you. If it doesn't, please recall that McAfee was once arrested in Guatemala after fleeing Belize, where he was wanted for questioning by local police for the murder of his neighbor. No charges were brought against him in the murder case, but McAfee's backstory is still a tad colorful for politics, even in the age of Trump. Yet the privacy arguments he's making aren't altogether unlike the ones that Apple and other tech companies have been lobbying for in Congress like Lawrence Lessig, the Harvard professor who's running for president to push an agenda for campaign finance reform, McAfee seems far more concerned with having his voice heard on one particular issue than with taking a seat in the Oval Office. Which may explain why McAfee... A lot of people run uh, presidential campaigns. They're, they're called issue candidates. Mm -hmm. um, they'll run for an issue and in order to bring attention to that issue. And he is creating a party as well, which I imagine will also be focused on bringing attention to... Uh, that issue. He's forming the Cyber Party, as it is being called. Uh, so this all may explain why Matt McAfee is seeking a stand-in for his presidential run. He also said he didn't want to discuss other elements of his platform until he er, knows whether he or someone else is going to be the candidate. That announcement should come within the next 48 hours, according to McAfee. As for whether Donald Trump's surprising popularity had anything to do with his presidential ambitions, McAfee said, quote, I have great respect for the man, but he has nothing to do with my decision to run. Let's go to Andy, listening in Lubbock, Texas, via TuneIn. Hello, Andy. You're on Free Talk Live with Ian Rich and Mark. Hey, how you fellas doing? What's on your mind, Andy? Go ahead. Uh, well, you know, this Mr. McAvee, yeah, he had some problems in uh, uh, in Belize and whatnot, and that, he was all cleared from that, and they chased him down, tried to kill him and all this other stuff. Uh, but, but overall, I mean, his theory is not much, uh, different than what we're all getting all crazy about with this Donald Trump guy. 
I mean, he, he wants to bring privacy back to people. He wants to start with the computers, which is obviously his, uh, his uh, forte, if you will. And uh, I really think that uh, we've got to give him some consideration. I mean, we can't just shoot him down before he even climbs a tree. You know what I mean? We can't just chop the tree down. Before oh, I'm not shooting him down. I'm embracing this guy so far. He sounds great. I'm going after the tree. What does that mean? <laughs> going after the tree. I, I, you know, he's, he's climbing the tree of the, pres- the presidential tree. I'm going after the tree. So you're going to take the tree it. down and uh, watch him fall, huh? No, no. I, what does I, that mean I, when you're going after it, Mark? What does that mean? No, I'm not going after John McAfee. Is the McAfee. tree running away? I'm going uh, after the I, office of the president. Meaning you're competing with I, him. I, I think anybody who's, uh, anybody who's in line for privacy, which is something we're all missing right now is because everybody's listening. I mean, in fact, our telephone call right now is being tapped. So uh, You're on the radio. Well, you're also Any, being... <laughs> Yeah, well, you yeah, are being recorded. True, yes. oh, they, they certainly, they certainly could be listening to the radio right now. They are they listening. <laughs> they about uh, tens of thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands of them. Thanks, Andy, for your call tonight. I appreciate it. Uh, Toll free number is eight fifty five four fifty free. By going after that, the tree, what does that what does that mean? Uh, I or just going. Look, if if I disparage anything, I'm disparaging the office of of the presidency and the power that it has claimed for it. So, I see. However, um, I do wonder. Do you think that government agents or there's a government agent or group of agents that are assigned to have to listen to Free Talk Live every day? I don't know. I wouldn't expect that. What that do you important, think but... the suicide rate would be among those agents? I don't, I don't think they'd be a happy group of people. I know that <laughs> FBI agents have been assigned to go to Quaker meetings in the past, and they went to. Uh, apparently, the FBI has admitted going to. To the uh, the Burning Man yeah, but, events, as but well. I, I just wonder. I mean, these are not. I would not consider these particularly choice assignments, right? If you had to listen to Free Talk Live and you weren't a pro liberty sort, you're either going to end up being one. I hope so. Or going to be very upset most of the time. Um, and if you have to go to a Quaker meeting, if anybody has any, I I am a Quaker. I converted after we read probably our third or fourth Quaker story on the air here, and uh, then I went and found one. And what it is is it's sitting around in a circle or in some pews, depending on it, and just essentially sitting in silence for an hour. Now, sometimes people get up and say things, but that's going to be pretty rough if you didn't choose to go to that church service. 855 450 free. This is Free Talk Live could choose any school in the country to earn your college degree and be on your way to a better life? Would you choose one the Wall Street Journal recognizes as producing some of the best qualified graduates? Or one the Princeton Review ranks as a leader in undergraduate education? Or maybe one the U.S. News and World Report names among the most innovative schools in the country? Now, you don't have to choose. At Arizona State University, we want to help you learn to thrive in life. At ASU Online, we offer over 100 graduate and undergraduate programs on your time and schedule. You receive the exact same curriculum, degree, and prestigious faculty as the on-campus students, and we're universally recognized as one of the innovators in online learning technologies. For information, call 1-800-595-9736. U.S. News & World Report ranked ASU in the top 10 best places to earn an online degree. So learn to thrive with ASU Online. Call today at 1-800-595-9736. That's 1-800-595-9736. That's the sound your brain makes when you realize you're buying something and forgot the coupon. Online or in a store, knowing that you're missing a deal is the worst. You need the app from Retail Me Not right now. Get thousands of coupons from 50,000 stores like Kohl's, Domino's, Best Buy, and more with crazy deals like 60% off, free shipping, and free gifts with purchase. You can get a text invite to download the Retail Me Not app 100% free right now for Apple or Android. Just text the code UPDATE to 42767. Then just show your phone at checkout to save. It literally couldn't be easier. It's 2015. Keep your coupon bonds in your phone. Stop what you're doing and text UPDATE to 42767. Listeners will get a text with a link to download it 100% free. Never forget another coupon again. Text the code UPDATE to 42767 right now. That's UPDATE to 42767. Message and data rates may apply. For terms and privacy, visit RetailMeNot.com. 
We the people grow cotton, weave fabric, engrave ink, embed strips and fibers to protect from counterfeit and carting to a private bank, having it led back at interest, forcing taxes to service debt. This capitalism or was Jefferson correct when stating a central bank issuing the public currency is a greater menace to the liberties of the people than a standing army? Ted Anderson, I'm placing a free silver dollar in a book that explains our monetary system. Call for your copy, 800-686-2237. It's time to understand the system. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Gold isn't for you? Ted Anderson, president of Midas Resources, one of the world's premier gold and precious metal investing firms. I get it. You wouldn't buy gold if you believed that the government is doing a great job, that the Fed will stop handing out trillions of dollars like bailout candy, that Social Security would be there for you. That's not what's happening. You might even pass on gold if the stimulus package wouldn't fuel inflation, or that the dollar wouldn't lose value, or that your retirement would be secure. If all looks rosy to you, then now is not the time to buy gold. For the realists, there have never been more sobering reasons to diversify with gold. Since 2001, the U.S. dollar index has tanked 30% while gold has risen 300%. Right now, savvy investors are adding gold to their portfolios. You should too. Find out what they know. Call us and I'll send you 10 reasons why gold will do very well, free. 800-686-2237. 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. KDArmor.com is your one-stop shop for the most affordable body armor, period. With packages starting at $169.99 and free shipping on every order. KD offers soft armor and rifle threat rated armor up to level 4. Go to KDArmor.com and get your body armor today while you still can. Mention this ad and receive a free tactical scarf for a limited time with any body armor package. That's KDArmor.com. Come and take it. Now, more Free Talk Live. Call in toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-FREE. This is Free Talk Live. You are invited to join us here. Toll-free, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Uh, still to come, we can talk about the Satanic Temple they are back at it, this time in Arkansas, looking to get their statue of Baphomet put nearby the Ten Commandments, which apparently is being planned for the Capitol grounds in Little Rock. You can comment on anything that happens to be on your mind as well. We've also got Skype. Our Skype username is lrn.fm. And if you care about privacy while you're online, you need ProXPN. It's a virtual private network. Because Voting for John McAfee isn't going to get you privacy today, okay? Uh, Pro XPN is. You go to Pro XPN. Pro XPN will certainly get you privacy, John McAfee. It's a, 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 you know as likely as it is. So go to ProXPN.com. Right now, you can use code FTL50, and you'll get 50% off the regular monthly price for the lifetime of the account that you have when you buy their annual account with code FTL50. And that gets you... Open VPN. See, they're a virtual private network. And they encrypt all of your online data. And OpenVPN is the gold standard of network encryption. They've got apps that work for Windows, Mac, iOS, Android, and there's Linux support as well. It can be cheaper per month with our code than a good cup of coffee. So don't forget, code FTL50, like Free Talk Live and the number 50, FTL50 at ProXPN.com. Right now, go and take back the privacy that is your right and we are talking about John McAfee, interesting character. He has uh, now it's a YouTube, he's got his own YouTube channel out. There's only 28 subscribers so far, so uh, he's you know just kicking off this presidential campaign. He's got his official campaign announcement, and I figure we should play that because this guy seems pretty good. Seems like a decent choice. Seems like the best option out there at the moment here. So this from. McAfee16.com. The authors of America's Declaration of Independence and Lincoln's Gettysburg Address, text of agonizing beauty in the face of today's harsh realities, could not have anticipated a world in which spy cameras are hidden in cactuses. The government surreptitiously parses our verbal communications, and the concept of privacy is fast approaching extinction. They could not have anticipated a world in which information is the prime commodity of exchange at the expense of grace, compassion, solitude, and the remaining fragile components of the besieged human heart. What they did anticipate is that governments, no matter how powerful, will always hunger for more power. And that power... That's certainly true. 
And by the way, he's standing in front of, uh, it appears to be a green screen, like a, li- a picture of a library, like a fancy library. It looks very presidential. I see. So let me go on here. More with John McAfee. Is he the only presidential corrupts. candidate with facial hair? Mm, I don't know. I don't pay close attention to these presidential candidates, so I couldn't tell you. Well, um, but yeah, perhaps so, because is, aren't you supposed to be like a bad guy if you have facial hair or something like that? No, there are pre- presidents in the past that had facial hair. Lincoln okay. was the first one with a beard, and then every president after that had a beard oh, really? for a long time. <laughs> and then it went from beards to mustaches, and um, then after that there was nothing left for a while. And there seems to be sort of a, a trailing indicator. Uh, presidential facial hair seems to be sort of a trail in trail trailing indicator of societal standards and society is becoming more accepting of beards these days and I'm just sort of wondering. Hmm. All right, here we go. Governments are composed of human beings and all of the frailties that humans possess are absorbed into those governments and become active within these governments. Hatred, anger, jealousy, fear, greed, distrust and the whole host of afflictions that humans must bear lurk just beneath the surface of civility displayed by government. When individuals become angry with one another, an injury of some sort will likely occur. When governments become angry, entire civilizations are wiped out. He goes through a few uh, great comparisons between bad behavior on the part of an individual and the consequences and bad behavior on the part of the government. When individuals become greedy, they are no longer invited to dinner. When governments become greedy, starvation afflicts the weaker nations. When people become fearful, other people avoid them. When governments become fearful, the populace is included among those elements that the government fears, and the populace has nowhere to go. These truths are self-evident to anyone who cares to look with the right kind of eyes. More than 200 years ago, a document called the Declaration of Independence was penned by some of the greatest minds in the history of civilization. Well, that's a good thing to say if you're running for president of the United States. Right? Of course. You wouldn't say that as a uh, Canadian or something. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that people are endowed with certain unalienable rights, that among these rights are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Now, before we go on here, Mark, you were only referring to the fact that he's quoting the Declaration of Independence. Right. There is no other presidential candidate out there taking a pro-privacy position like this guy. No, saying, I don't think so. Saying the government has no right to know your business. I mean, even the much vaunted Rand Paul is not going to shut down the NSA. Probably not. Yes. My understanding, he uh, supports the government spying. He just thinks that he can direct its spying in the, the right direction. Toll-free number tonight, 855-450-FREE. Rich, you look uns- unsure about that. Uh, yeah, I, th- I think you're uh, overestimating Rand Paul's fondness for government spying. I don't think that Rand Paul tends to say everything that he believes necessarily. I think he keeps uh, some of what he believes um, hidden. So it's very difficult for me to to predict how he would deal with it. Let me go on with more with uh, John McAfee. That to secure these rights, governments are instituted among people, deriving their just powers from the consent of the governed. That whenever any form of government becomes destructive of these ends, it is the right of the people to alter or abolish it. A scant four score and seven years after these words were written, a gaunt President Lincoln stepped onto one of the bloodiest battlefields in human history to admonish his current and all future generations to bear the responsibility of we, the governed. He said, we must now dedicate ourselves to the great task remaining before us, that from these honored dead, we take increased devotion to that cause for which they gave the last full measure of devotion, that we here highly resolve that these dead shall not have died in vain, that this nation shall have a new birth of freedom. Half Half of those dead died to secede from the Union at Gettysburg, mm-hmm. right? So, I mean, when he's talking about the dead. He's really talking about the northern dead. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm not a fan of uh, Abraham Lincoln myself, uh, but you know, I don't know if, I don't know what John McAfee's opinion is of, uh, of Lincoln. He's certainly just using him to make a point in this case. And the government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from the earth. I live in a country that has passed so many laws that at an average reading speed, 
it would take me 600 years to read, reading 24 hours a day. I'm protected by a government that invades my privacy. 600 years. Reading 24 hours a day. 24 hours a day. And that probably is only the federal laws. I, mm. Yeah. How he, he makes a great point, right? Yeah. Yeah, well, that's one of the points we've made on this show a number of times is how ridiculous and impossible it would be to actually attempt to cure your ignorance of the law. Like, ignorance of the law is the natural state. You can't possibly know what the law says or yeah. what the code it's a, it's says. It's a 12th century maxim. It's so old and so useless, it should never be uttered. We got a little bit more from John McAfee here in his official campaign announcement for the John McAfee 2016 presidential run with the Cyber Party, a brand new party for the United States. I think it's pretty exciting. What do you think? 855-450-FREE you can tell us how you feel here on Free Talk Live or bring up anything. We, we, we are a survival company. We manufacture our own line of Level 3 and Level 3A body armor. We proudly make our armor 100% in America. We have the best prices in the nation, about $125 cheaper than our nearest competitor. All lab certified, for thou art my rock and my fortress, Psalm 31.3. We are Fortress Survival, LLC. Dot, dot, dot com. No way. Is that a real bullet necklace? No, it's a 9 millimeter bullet necklace with matching earrings, you'll notice. Those are awesome. Where'd you get them? Dave found them at PatriotNecklace.com. Wow. They have a variety of calibers and necklaces and earrings and keychains. PatriotNecklace.com? PatriotNecklace.com. Your choice of caliber bullet includes a rugged American-made stainless steel dog tag chain. A percentage of every sale goes to military and service-related charities. And get a discount by entering GCN at checkout. Show your patriotism and support our troops with a bullet necklace from PatriotNecklace.com. Paid non-attorney spokesperson, Ricky LeBlanc, admitted in Mass only. Sokolov Law, LLC, Chestnut Hill, Mass. Ken Levan, responsible attorney in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Greg Hobby, New Jersey. The choice of lawyer is an important decision that should not be based solely upon advertisements. While this firm maintains joint responsibility, most cases of this type are referred to other attorneys for principal responsibility. If you know what mesothelioma is, you or someone you love has likely been impacted by this devastating cancer. You may be entitled to compensation. Call Sokolov Law today. 1-800-218-HELP. The only known cause of mesothelioma is asbestos exposure. Thousands of hardworking men and women, including many U.S. veterans and industrial workers, have been diagnosed with mesothelioma because manufacturers knew the dangers but put profits ahead of people. An estimated $30 billion in court order trust has been set aside to pay money to asbestos victims. If you or a loved one has been diagnosed with mesothelioma, call now. You may be entitled to receive compensation without ever going to court or filing a lawsuit. Call for a free legal consultation at 1-800-218-HELP. That's 1-800-218-HELP. Are your Google search results killing you? Unflattering content in blogs, news articles, online reviews, social media, or other sources can jeopardize your reputation, your business, and your livelihood. Let Reputation.com help. Our patented technology will make the truth about you more visible while pushing down unwanted negative content. Improve your Google search results. Call Reputation.com at 1-800-831-0771 for a free consultation. That's 800-831-0771. Hi, my name is Scott Fuchs, teacher and rowing coach for over 14 years. I was sluggish, overweight, on prescription drugs, and only 30-something. Fortunately, I was referred to Dr. Z, and happy to say Dr. Z's all-natural protocols over a consistent course resolved my health issues. I'm in the best shape of my life, and most importantly, on zero medications. I'm Dr. Zdanowski, author of Evology. Trained as a primary care physician, surgical manipulation under anesthesia, Expert in nutrition, diet, weight loss, immune system, and I specialize in chiropractic. My 15 years of professional experience has taught me the four keys to vibrant health, a balanced muscular skeletal system, an integrated nervous system, a flowing lymphatic system, and a body filled with over 90 essential nutrients. This has been a secret too long. Actualize your potential. Reverse disease. Call me, Dr. Z. 201-945-1177, 201-945-1177, evolveyourself.com. My name is Dell, and I live in El Cajon, California. I was concerned about my cholesterol readings because I knew that high cholesterol is related to clogging of the arteries and increases the risk for heart attack and stroke. One day, I heard an ad for heart and body extract, and I was skeptical, but I decided to give it a try. Man, the numbers don't lie. Learn the secrets of an effective, natural, 100% organic nutritional supplement for a healthy heart and circulation at hbextract.com. 
This is Free Talk Live. Call in toll-free, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-FREE. Free Talk Live. Join us here on the radio waves at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Joining you tonight, you've got Ian. Rich Paul. And Mark. And you can join us online. Just go to freetalklive.com. Please enjoy the features that you will find waiting for you there. And if you like the show and you want to help support Free Talk Live, then become an amplifier. Go to amp.freetalklive.com because you will get to see pictures of Mark riding his pigs. And apparently this is in high demand, Mark, the pictures of you riding people, people your People seem to want to see it. Yeah, this is the new thing. Now, the pictures, do they exist yet? Because they've been promised for next week. Yes, there are some pictures. Um, I have actually given over. At this point, I do not have possession. I have possession of the pictures, but I do not have sole possession of the pictures in case I feel like backing out or something. Um, but... Well, you can't back out of this. We've promised the the listeners. Just now. saying. I, you're right. I can't back out of it because I don't have control of them anymore. Okay, good. So uh, anyway, there's a there's an Amplifier Facebook group in which these photos will be presented. So you do, unfortunately, need to have Facebook in order to see these. But this is a pretty cool group. Like, the AMP group on Facebook is an actual good reason to use Facebook because it's a pretty good way for listeners of Free Talk Live to interact with one another and also some of the hosts of the show at the same time. So that's one of the perks you get if you become an amplifier. It's all of $5 per month to amp the show. You can go to amp.freetalklive.com. That's A-M-P. A-M-P stands for Advertise, Market, and Promote. Amp.freetalklive.com. That 5 bucks we invest into Free Talk Live. We get on more radio stations, spreading the ideas of freedom as far and as wide as possible. And you get perks like that amp-only Facebook group the AMP Only podcast, and more. Go and get started, please, at amp.freetalklive.com. We are playing the official campaign announcement from the John McAfee 2016 campaign. There's only about 30 seconds left here in this video. It's John McAfee standing, uh, talking into a camera. He's wearing, it looks like, some sort of a suit coat. He also has a T-shirt on underneath. I'm curious to know what that shirt says, but you don't actually get to see it uh, in the video here. Anyway, going on here with his official campaign announcement. At an average reading speed, it would take me 600 years to read, reading 24 hours a day. He's talking about the laws of the United States, how impossible a task it is to actually read them going on. I'm protected by a government that invades my privacy so that it can assure me that I am not the enemy it is protecting me from. <laughs> I live in a country that is governed by people largely illiterate in cybersecurity, as proven by the multiple government computer hacks. Yet cyber warfare is now the means of war. Yeah. My government is dysfunctional. For the 300 million other Americans, you are in the same boat with me. So stand with me to protect our freedom. Visit McAfee16.com. Excellent. I would say he is uh, hitting the ground running in this presidential campaign. There's just the the bumpy road ahead, unfortunately, of the fact that he doesn't really have a political party yet. He wants to form this cyber party, which I don't know the level of success they're going to have getting on state ballots. He's also talking about maybe having someone else run in his stead. So to have, you know, to sort of have him promote this idea of the cyber party, but then ultimately recruit somebody else who has a, a good name and you know, uh, agrees with whatever the tenets of the cyber party are to ultimately replace him as the presidential candidate. So whether or not mm -hmm. he will continue on this uh, campaign past the next two weeks remains to be seen. Uh, but I, I'm excited about it. I think that this is the most exciting campaign besides Vermin Supreme that's, uh, that's out there right now. Well, we'll see if it uh, catches on. Uh, he's got enough money to uh, make some things happen. And, um, you know, I guess I'm more convinced than I was when it sort of started. So You mean earlier tonight? Yeah, earlier yeah. tonight. You know, Because he announced this yesterday. We just found out about it here on the yeah. air. So, I'm, you know, I'm just, hmm, okay. He seems like a pretty liberty-friendly dude. And I would argue more so than, uh, than Rand Paul. I don't imagine Rand Paul would claim that he's an anarchist, but... Uh, Although uh, Judge Napolitano did make that claim. Really? Uh, well, Napolitano, when he went on Anarchast, um, 
did self-identify as an anarcho-capitalist, and he said that uh, Rand Paul was every bit as libertarian as his father. So that's one he of the— sure doesn't sound like it. Uh, no, he doesn't. But then again, the one of the mistakes that libertarians have always made, I think, is if you took the democratic program, okay, and you projected it out to the end of time, you would have full-on socialism. But when a Democrat runs for office, he doesn't argue for socialism. He argues for a few steps towards socialism, and that's not as frightening for people. Now, if you take the Republican well, apparently Party— Apparently Bernie Sanders isn't frightening people. He's getting them excited, and he is a socialist. Yeah, but— oh, Okay, hold, there's that. Wait, that's not true. When you listen to the Bernie Sanders people on Facebook, they say, whoa, 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 we're not socialists. We're democratic socialists. Uh -huh. Democratic socialists don't believe in the welfare state, and they'll list off a variety of things that are okay. much different, and it still fits completely within the paradigm that Rich Paul is talking about. Okay, so then you take the Republican Party. Now, if you project their— uh, their policies out to the end of time, what you would end up with is straight-up fascism. But yet they don't say, let's go to straight-up fascism. They just present the first few steps to fascism. Mm -hmm. So if it's quite possible that if you project out Anne, uh, Anne Rand's, Rand <laughs> Paul's philosophy to the end of time, that you would have straight-up philosophy, that you would have straight-up anarchism just like us, but that he's whoa, whoa, whoa. only talking about the first few, or voluntarism, uh, but he's only talking about the first few steps he wants to take, what he thinks he can do in four years. Yeah. And that Which is why creates a symmetry. It, well, I think a lot of his issue is a lot of the people... I, I think that Trump is really screwing Rand Paul, and I think that's well, yeah, one of Trump the reasons. Well, yeah, because Trump outdid him. Trump outdid Rand Paul on the stage at the Republican debate. What have they had? Just that one, right? Just that one debate thus far, yeah, I think? Yeah, so mm -hmm. there was the, 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 the afternoon debate of the, the kids' table and then uh, the full-on Now, one. Trump has since gone back on his word uh, that he gave at that debate, and that would be that— uh, he promised that he would not necessarily endorse the Repub whoever the eventual Republican nominee was. He was the only one on mm -hmm. stage to make that the to say he would not endorse necessarily that person. Rand Paul said he would endorse whoever the the person was, and so ma he made Rand Paul look like one of the team. He made Rand Paul appear to mm -hmm. be just your your tip, or Rand Paul made himself appear that way because he went along to get along. And so, you know, there's just not much to be impressed about with Rand Paul. He may take some liberty-ish positions on some things, but he hasn't energized his supporters. He Even his supporters mm -hmm. are, like, lackluster about this guy. I was at the county fair, and there's a state representative here in, in this area mm -hmm. who's actually a really good liberty state rep. He actually got, a, I think, an A or an A+. Plus from the, the report card given to state reps for voting for liberty. Mm -hmm. And this guy was, you know, wearing the Rand Paul shirt. He's definitely on the campaign, but he told me that, you know, the Rand Paul campaign is not exciting to him. He's not willing to get up at three in the morning to help this campaign out anymore. He's, you know, willing to wake up at noon and get out mm -hmm. there to help him out. And so, like, he, he's not even really exciting his own campaign, let alone the rest of us principled, liberty-minded folks who mm. want to hear somebody who's out there talking about the ideas of liberty. Yep. I get what you're saying, mm. Rich, is that he's trying to hide his beliefs so he can get elected. But mm. at the same time, that's basically selling himself short, and he's not getting the same level of support from the libertarians that he could possibly get, which is what mm. propelled Ron Paul to the level of success that he had. Right now, Rand Paul it is also floundering. It also, like, potentially marginal. I'm not, uh, look, Ian, um, I get what you're saying, and I, I agree Rand Paul, um, you know, his his campaign is not nearly as exciting as uh, as his father's was. However, his father's campaign, everybody said constantly, he can't win, he can't win, he can't win. I don't know why they said that precisely. I've never been able to sort of nail down the unelectability thing. It might have to do with age. It might have to do with um, his stand. I don't know what it has to do with. My mother said that she couldn't get excited about Ron Paul because of his uh, foreign policy. Okay. That's as, as good of a, a reason as any, but, um, you know, Rand Paul's trying to trade one for another and see if it works, and I don't know if it'll work. It's I guess not working. Uh, I guess Neither we'll did see, Ron Paul's you know, campaign. Well, yeah, but Ron Paul had far greater polling numbers at the same time frame as Rand Paul did. Well, like, he didn't period. have Donald Trump running. So what? 855, 453. Ron Paul would have cleaned the stage up with uh, Donald Trump. More on the way here. You can share your thoughts in the remaining moments. How this would the Incredible Hulk have done? It's Free Talk Live. 
Every once in a while, you get information that's worth changing your life for. This is one such time. You can save up to and beyond 25% on all purchases at Amazon. You probably heard of Bitcoin and just not thought much about it. You certainly know that you can get competitive pricing at Amazon, but now you can get a 25% discount on nearly everything you need to live. I've just given you a huge raise, and all you have to do is claim it. You go to purse.freetalklive.com and open an account. Do this right now. Don't wait. Then you fund the account with Bitcoin. You can buy them through expresscoin.com with a check or money order. There are other ways to get Bitcoin, but that's fast, safe, and easy. This information is worth you changing the way you do things. Go to purse.freetalklive.com right now and get signed up and cash in on the huge raise I'm offering you. 25% off of everything on Amazon through purse.freetalklive.com. It's purse.freetalklive.com. Healthy, organic, fresh fish, robust, mouth-watering vegetables, all from your home. It's called aquaponics. This brilliant, self-sustaining protein and veggie system is perfect for year-round growing. Know exactly where your food is coming from. Aquaponicsource.com is the one-stop shop for all your needs. Fish, fish food, plumbing, full systems, classes, and more. Learn to build your own system. Go to aquaponicsource.com for a free guide to aquaponics. That's aquaponicsource.com. This is Dan Pillett. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands, and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement, and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpillett.com. Owe $10,000 or more to the IRS? Get on board with the tax admiral. Don't pick on the IRS alone. I'll cut penalties and reduce your overall tax bill. Sometimes I can even get it zeroed out completely. We're an A-rated company helping people clean up their mess with the IRS. If you owe $10,000 or more, then call the tax admiral. Call 800-287-7180. Again, that's 800-287-7180. 800-287-7180. Don't complain about your cable bill going up and up and up. Do something about it. Grab a pencil and jot down this special number. 1-855-905-MY-TV. The more cable TV rates go up, the better digital satellite TV looks. Say goodbye to the cable guy. And get more of your favorite channels in 100% digital quality for less money. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. Sign up for packages starting as low as $19.99 and there's no equipment to buy. You get free HD TV upgrade, a free DVR upgrade, and free professional and installation you control what you watch when you watch it record your favorite shows pause and rewind live tv even skip the commercials watch local channels too at just 19.99 what are you waiting for pull out your major credit or debit card call 1-855-905-MY-TV 1-855-905-MY-TV say goodbye to the cable guy cut costs and get more 1-855-905-MY-TV 1-855-905-MY-TV Paid non-attorney spokesperson Adam Pulaski of the Pulaski Law Firm with principal office in Houston, Texas is the attorney responsible for the content of this ad. This ad is not legal advice and the choice of a lawyer should not be based solely upon advertisement. Services may not be available in all states. Attention Zarelto users. If you or a loved one took Zarelto and suffered a serious bleeding event, you may be entitled to financial compensation. Zarelto is a popular prescription blood thinner used to prevent blood clots and protect patients from strokes. These serious bleeding events have led to numerous cases of hospitalization and even death. Phone lines are open 24-7. Call 800-261-0937. That's 800-261-0937. You're listening to Free Talk Live. Call in toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-FREE. It's Free Talk Live. You may join us here toll-free, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Uh, got a lot of features on our website. They are all completely free, so please enjoy those. And if you uh, if you want to, you can also check out Keenvention. It's coming up here in less than two months. It'll be here before you know it. And uh, Rich Paul is going to be one of the speakers at Keenvention this year. Mm -hmm. Richard going to be appearing on the brand new first ever jury nullification panel. 
Groovy. And the reason why the jury nullification panel has been uh, created this year is because it's exploded in popularity here uh, amongst the activists. As you know, uh, we all moved here for the Free State Project. If you're a longtime listener of the show, you know this. Probably if you've listened more than a week, you probably know that. Uh, the mm-hmm. Free State Project is the idea of, of taking liberty-minded folks like John McAfee, although he's not yet a Free State Project participant, uh, taking liberty-minded folks and moving them to the same place, having them uh, uh, essentially coalesce into one geographic area so we can actually have an effect, so libertarians can actually win political office, and we can roll back the state. That's actually happening to some extent. It's been a proven concept. We've actually had liberty people winning as Republicans and Democrats here in New Hampshire, and they have stopped some bad legislation from going through, and they have passed a few things that have been pretty good as well. Uh, so that's from a political standpoint, it's been an amazing success, and we're just getting started. So the Keenvention is a convention that I put together a few years ago. It's actually in its third year this year, with the intention of having an activist-focused convention that focuses on New Hampshire activists and the activism happening here. Because the Free State Project puts on a great event uh, in the Liberty Forum, which is their hotel convention that they do every winter. Well, this is the fall convention in New Hampshire. It's a much smaller event. It's very intimate in comparison to the Liberty Forum. So instead of hundreds of people, instead of five to 800 people, you got maybe 100 people who are there throughout the, the entire weekend. So it's a great chance to get to know some of the names that you hear so often on this show. And it's people from New Hampshire. I mean, 99% of our speakers are based in New Hampshire. There's one speaker who's coming from Massachusetts to join us, and that is Gavin Andreessen, who is the head programmer of Bitcoin. So if you can get the head programmer of Bitcoin to come up and hang out with you, then you should do that. So we're going to have him there. The Bitcoin panel is happening this year. There's lots of different panels approaching uh, from everything from political action to, uh, to doing cop block to jury outreach, which is what the jury nullification panel is going to be all about. We've had jury nullification outreach here spread from just here in Keene and, and up in Grafton, where you've been living re- up until recently, Rich. Those were the two counties in which uh, I'd been happening for the last few years. And then this year, uh, with thanks to some of the efforts of some of the folks involved with Rights Brigade and, uh, and also NHJury.com, Jury outreach has spread to, I believe, seven of the ten counties here in New Hampshire. So it's not happening in any other state. Well, it's happening here and there in, in other states, but it's yeah, not happening seven out of ten counties right, on a regular basis. It, it's not happening in seventy percent of the counties in in any other state. So it's really exploded onto the activism scene in a way that had not been done so far. And so I think it deserves its own panel this year. So you're going to be on mm-hmm. that panel, Rich. Looking forward to it. And, uh, of course, you were one of our keynote speakers last year. Anybody who wants to see Rich's keynote speech, it's up on keenvention.info along with every other panel and speak, uh, speech that we've ever had at the event. So, you know, if you missed 2013 and 2014, you didn't miss it. You can go watch it online. Go to keenvention.info. Now, what you did miss is the interactions that happen off the stage. And that's part of the fun of, of going to a convention is the networking and getting to know people. And in this case, you get to know the activists who hopefully will soon be your neighbors because if you love liberty, you got to move to New Hampshire as part of the Free State Project. There's no better place to be. So go to keenvention.info. The tickets are 60 bucks. That gets you in for the entire weekend. And you can also, of course, pay with Bitcoin. So keenvention.info. Oh, I should mention when it's happening. Hallow Keen Weekend. It's October 30th through November 1st. That is a great time to come up and visit uh, New Hampshire. The hotels are cheap because it's just past the peak leaf peeping season. And so the hotel room cost drops from like $250 a night to $80 bucks a night. And uh, you get a special discount from using the Keenvention code, which you can find at keenvention.info. So our toll-free number here tonight is 855-450-FREE. We're talking presidential candidates. Rand Paul, uh, you had mentioned, Rich, uh, that his position on the NSA, and I, I did find a little bit about that. He is for eliminating the NSA's illegal spying on American citizens. And I'm mm-hmm. with him on that. No yeah. doubt about that. That's that's good. And, and that does make him uh, set him apart from the rest of the Republican pack. Because Who want to increase it. I'm sure. And <laughs> I imagine the Democrats do as well. So kudos to Rand for taking that position. But of course, he doesn't say that he wants to abolish the NSA. He just wants to have them stop spying on Americans. As far as I'm concerned, mm. as long as they exist 
And as long as their offices have the capability of spying on Americans, they will likely mm-hmm. continue to spy on Americans, no matter what the president says. Supposedly, maybe they, eliminating them is a second term goal. Supposedly, there's been some downsizing on uh, what the NSA's uh, you know peeping into. That's what we're being told right sure, now. Sure, you believe them? They're the government, right? Uh, I don't know. I mean, maybe whatever. No, come on. The government lies. I would act like they're lying. You would act like they're lying. What I would act like they're lying. I would suggest, uh, you know, I would suggest to everyone, if you want privacy on the internet, demand, you know, you enact things to make sure you have privacy. Like Pro XPN. Pro XPN and a variety of other things. Uh, use uh, code FTL50 at proxpn.com. Yeah, use <laughs> uh, use whatever encryption you can use for whatever you use it for. But PGP. They may very well have stopped a certain portion of spying. I don't know, and I don't. I wouldn't. It wouldn't change my life. No doubt. So anyway, I just figured I'd share with you uh, the Rand Paul position on the NSA since we were talking about it. And uh, in other news, the Satanic Temple, as we teased earlier tonight, they're back at it now with their statue. Are of you teasing Baphomet. Satan again? Stop teasing <laughs> Satan. <laughs> Well, the big question about the Satanic Temple is, are they really Satanists? And uh, some would say they are just trolls who don't actually believe in Satan. Uh, But nonetheless, they have formally petitioned, as of yesterday, the state of Arkansas to place the group's controversial Baphomet statue, which, as you may recall, they unveiled a few weeks ago in Detroit at a secret meeting, a secret party. They, uh, let's see here, they want to put it next to the privately funded Ten Commandments monument that is currently being planned for the Capitol grounds in Little Rock. And, of course, they've threatened legal action if their petition is rejected. So I like that the monument is, uh, pr- the, the Ten Commandments monument is privately funded. Mm-hmm. However, one of the difficulties of putting something on private land is that if you allow a privately funded on ten, public land you mean I'm, yeah excuse yeah. me on mm-hmm. uh, public land is if, if you allow a privately funded 10 commandments statue you then necessarily for, for the you know the idea of equally representing religions must allow a privately funded baphomet statue and or whatever other statues uh, any other religion wants to right. put up the on the The flying spaghetti monster. Um, yes. The invisible can... hand. Exactly. All in glass. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the invisible hand statue's already there. <laughs> it is. You so, just have to have the trick of seeing it. <laughs> so, uh, so, yeah, you're right about that, Mark. Uh, and in this case, in April, Republican Arkansas Governor Asa Hutchinson signed a bill into law instructing the state to erect the Ten Commandments monument. So this is a little bit more than just some private group coming along and saying, hey, can we put this monument over here? No, no, this was actually a bill signed into law by the governor. So it's privately funded, but is being requested by the state legislature and the governor. So that's that, to me, is really close to having a state-approved religion, right? Mm-hmm. Well... Okay. What do you mean? Well, okay. <laughs> Just you know, I don't. No, I don't. If think the this state w- approves a bill, the state government approves a bill and signs it into law that says there needs to be a Ten Commandments monument at the state house. That's pretty much the state saying, "Yeah, this is our religion." It needs to. They were just really just allowing it to happen. Uh, no, sir. It was instructing the state to erect a Ten Commandments monument. Fine. That's because um, laws have to say must instead of should, um, because this is a private. They knew that they were getting a privately funded statue, right? It has opened the door to significant debate concerning. I don't know if they knew the statue was going to be coming before they passed the law or after the law, Mark. I'm not sure about that. Maybe you should research that. Anyway, it's opened the door to the debate concerning the separation of church and state, despite the state legislature's argument that the Ten Commandments monument is about history. They say this isn't a religious monument. This is about history. It's a historical event. History Horse of, hockey. History of a place. <laughs> a history of a place, to, uh, you know, half a world away. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. Didn't we hear from a caller once that Jesus actually came to the United States? Well, come on. You, oh, you, yeah. He came among that. the Indians. Uh, yeah, that was Check the with the LDS people. Uh, he got in a Mormons rowboat, apparently, and, and came all the way over here. Some oh. people claim that uh, the, the the place that he drove the uh, the demons into the herd of pigs because that wouldn't be in uh, that wouldn't be in Israel, a place where they think pigs are unclean. Um, that that was in uh, Spain. So what do I know? Following the same reasoning, you're going to love this. The release from the Satanic Temple said their statue with a goat-headed god will be a memorial to quote various historical witch hunts and homage to the persecuted free thinkers and heretics who helped inform American secular jurisprudence. Uh, we'll, we <laughs> nice. might talk. 
more about this at another time because I imagine it will continue to be in the news. Check out Rich at the Church of the Invisible Hand on Facebook and more Free Talk Live at freetalklive.com. Are you searching for your soulmate? Someone you can trust who will never betray you or cooperate with the NSA? Stop searching. With EasyDNS, you found a keeper. EasyDNS does it all. Domain names, web hosting, and managed WordPress hosting. EasyDNS stands up for your internet freedom. And with servers in Canada, they do not cooperate with the NSA. Go to EasyDNS.com. You'll love their services or get a full refund. They guarantee it. And they accept Bitcoin. That's EasyDNS.com. If you expect secure, privacy-oriented services and real human support from your web hosting provider, choose Virtual Space International. From domain names and SSL certificates to offshore banking accounts, Virtual Space International has been the all-in-one, multi-language solution for over 25 years. And satisfaction is guaranteed or your money back. We even accept Bitcoin. Find out how to get 50% off for life at SaveTimeHosting.com. Gold, it's like nothing else on Earth. From the Romans through the Renaissance, from the Industrial Age to the Space Age, gold has weathered the test of time. For 6,000 years, gold has remained the ultimate store of wealth. According to the World Gold Council and the U.S. Mint, demand is at an all-time high. The stage is being set for the reemergence of gold as the common-sense alternative to a fiat paper currency that gets weaker every day. Midas Resources is proud to offer the hard-hitting report that arms you with the truth you need to protect you and your family from the Fed's plans for your hard-earned money. Don't gamble with your future. Call Midas Resources today and ask for your free copy of As Good As Gold. Call 1-800-686-223. For the report the Fed hopes you'll never see. As good as gold can be yours by calling 800 686 2237. 